what never happened? Huh? Hello! Totally didn't see some of you guys like two minutes ago. Hello! Also, sorry you guys that I wasn't in the mood to play Doki Doki earlier. Sorry about that. But I feel bit I feel, you know, I'm, I don't know, I'm just in a funk today. Good night, Scarlett in chat. Have you worked to have work tomorrow? So I can't stay for the stream. Good luck on Doki Doki Literature Club. Thank you so much, Notorious BSG82. Thank you for coming, baby. And thank you for the super. Come on, what do you mean this isn't my Steam password? Oh my fucking god. If I, no cussing, Susan, please don't attack me. Spoiler, this is a game. Ah, the bomb is here. Fucking hell, the bomb is here. We're not playing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Thank you, the bomb is here. Thank you for the soup. Mwah, that is so loud. That blasted my eardrums. Ducky, ducky. That's so fucking loud. My entrance fee for the stream. Oh my god, Yonaguni. Thank you, Delstar. Thank you for the super baby. Mwah. Hugs. Thank you, Star Creator. And thank you for the sneaky super you gave earlier. Thank you, Star Creator. Thank you for the super, honey. What did I check? What? Did, oh, I wanted to see if I was monetized. Free supers. Let's have a great stream. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you for the super, honey. Okay, we're monetized. We're good. We're good. We're good. Well, we're in the mood now. We are in the mood. F-bomb before two minutes of rip. I have to be careful. Come on, we have to wait for the ten minutes. Thank you, Boomer Wow. Thank you for the super. You got this, Scarlet. Got to sleep for work tomorrow in the morning. Save, have a safe say with Monica during DLC. I keep accidentally wanting to do like DDCL for Diamond City Lights. I'm like, wait, no, it's a DDLC. Thank you, Mari. Thank you for coming, baby. What happened last on Doki Doki? It was crazy. Um... I'll explain a little bit of it. Hi, Victor. It's pretty. This is pretty random, but I just remembered an interesting story. I thought you'd like. So, so many years ago, when I was a young boy. Really? When I was a young boy, my father. Oh my God! Took me into the city to see a Majin Band. Thank you, Naira. Thank you for the super baby. Mwah. It was a very interesting story. Spoiler alert, Joe was behind this all along. I know, right? Thank you, SA Soldier. Thank you for the super. Mwah. A320 pilot. What are you doing, sir? A320 pilot? Why are you giving me an Aga? Stop! The super is free. That's a lot of money, baby. And it is certainly not free! A325 is a lot of money, baby! My god! Thank you, A320 pilot. I really appreciate that, baby. Thank you so much for the Alka Super. Please make sure you're eating and and like, you have clothes and, and, and you got your fun stuff, you know? Thank you so much for the Alka, baby. Holy shit, A320 pilot. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, A320 pilot. Thank you so much for the big Alka Super! Mwah! You are just deja vu for this free super. No, Juan George, they are not free. They are not free, baby. Thank you for the super. That is not free. Mwah. I love Doki Doki. Monica, I just shared a birthday. I hope you like the spooky vibes. We'll be lurking. No problem, baby. Lurk away. Hello, Puzzling Shutterbug. Thank you for the super, baby. Mwah. Oh, good night, Aya. Thank you for saying good night. Mwah. Good night, honey. Who's your favorite girl so far? I like Yuri. I like Yuri. She dope, but... I, I hate Monica right now. I liked Monica a lot, but now I hate her. Thank you, Mako, Mak, Mako. Am I saying it right? Mako Atlas. Thank you for the super baby. Mwah. But I hate Monica. This, oh my God, Cyborg Ed, I see you. I see you. Wait, I didn't even put the game on. Hold on. Whatever. Whatever. Do you guys hear it? Okay. Let's get ready to gamey game. We still waiting for you to drop kick Monica out the window. If only. If only. Look at my chinchilla. It's so cute. It's so cute. Ah. When I have a grand, when I have grand nephews and nieces, I'll tell them about the time I when super chats were free. Pinkerton, why would you do such a thing? Why would you lie to the children? Why would you lie to the children? Thank you, Pinkerton. Thank you for the super. Mwah. Look at my chinchilla. Look at him. Oh. Oh. That's so cute. Okay. 
Now I gotta put the game on. Let me see. Wife told me this is free if I sleep on the couch. Aki's good boy, no. They're not free, baby. They are not free. Thank you, Aki's good boy. Thank you for the soup. But look at, look at Natsuki. Wait, that's Natsuki, right? I already forgot these. <sighs> I already forgot these bitches' names. I'm sorry. I already forgot them. Nookie Ducky. Okay, there you go. Anakin, this is where the fun begins. Yo, everyone was telling me. Now this is where the game begins, and I'm terrified. Thank you, Envy Mizuhashi. Thank you for the soup. Hey, Yon the Goonie, can you be my Monica? Happy Valentine's Day. Of course. Thank you, Del Star. Thank you for the soup. Let me move me. Hold on. Okay. I still want to. We're we're just gonna hide this. We're we're. I just want to see. I just want to see. I'm I'm just testing it. Okay, are we ready? Oh, Sayori, that's her name. Okay, let's recount the voices, shall we? Jesus Christ, old men voice. Back in my day, we didn't have to pay for soup bus. Victor's ace. That is not true. They are not free. You have to pay for them. Thank you, Victor's ace. Thank you for the soup bus. Okay, are we ready to begin? Everyone told me the. Okay, so what happened was. Um, the school thing, reading, there's drama between Yuri and Natsuki, and then, at the end, there, there was, like, a festival going on, free subas are, like, a daily login bonus redeemed, oh my god, Yuzuchi, thank you so much, Yuzuchi, thank you for the super baby, Mwah! and then there's, like, a festival, and we chose to go with Yuri, so Yuri came to our house, who's Sayori, Sayori is the... Like, when you tell- <coughs> Oh, I have to warm up my voice. <coughs> She's the other girl that is now missing from this image. Thank you, Star Creator. Thank you for the soup. Who's Sayori? It's always been- Are y'all fucking with me? It's always been only three girls, Monica, Yuri, and Natsuki. But you guys were here, right? Thank you, the bomb is here. Thank you for the soup. What's well, another girl? <coughs> Here to do my dailies. Oh my god, Kibbles. Thank you for the soup. Mwah. Wait, you guys. Why are you gaslighting me? You guys. Okay, but what happened was there was a festival. We Yuri went with us to our house. Natsuki, or Sayori, lives near us. And she told us that like she had depression. And she's had it for a really long time. And that... She wanted us to be happy. We confessed to her. MC, we are stupid bitches. Bitches, stupid we are. And Sayori hung herself and now she did. Hold, let me put a trigger warning. Hold on. Trigger warning. <clears throat> trigger warning. If you are sensitive to Sue's um self-harm oh rip i guess oh my god boomer wow thank you for the soup uh, mwah. no joke who is sayori kibbles i swear to god thank you kibbles thank you for the soup uh, mwah. scarlet are you confusing this with another game i know you guys are gaslighting me and i will not have it thank you sa soldier thank you for the soup uh, mwah. um self-harm or dark elements I, I forgot what I put for the other disclaimer. Other elements, please don't watch the stream. Mm. Please don't watch the stream. Um, what else? I'm trying to think of what else to say for this. Um, I'm not even gaslighting. I'm serious. Kibbles. Kibbles, kibbles. Thank you for the soup. Uh, Do you perhaps have really frantics? Thank you, frantics. Thank you for the soup. Uh, uh, Sayori might be in a different wedding room. Aki's good boy, silence. Thank you, Aki. What are you guys doing? Thank you, Aki's good boy. Thank you for the soup. Uh, I sleep now. Good night, Scarlet. Good night, chat. Good night, that one friend. Thank you for the soup. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. That's like cold stare. Thank you. Viewers, dis discretion is advised thank you 
Viewer's discretion is advised. Okay. So that's... Okay. Pin. Sayori was my favorite. I almost cried while outside. Bro, I was going to. I almost did. Thank you, Black Doom. Thank you for the super. Mwah. I think your screen is broken. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you for the super. Apparently, it's not. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you for the super. Mwah. So, people... I was kind of worried last time because you guys... Okay. Monica, advertisement, Scarlet voice, Yuri, soft Selen voice, Natsuki, Pomu voice, Sayori, Chipmunk, Scarlet. Oh my god. See, I wanted to load the game and none of my shit's there. But y'all told me this was normal. No idea who you're talking about, but I hear super chats are free today. No rabid mutt, they are not free. Thank you for the super. Mwah. That one of those bots you sent to the Shadow Realm. SC Soldier, I swear to god. Wait, what is this? Wait, is this a new game? Thank you, SA Soldier. Thank you for the super. Oh, shit. My vision got mad weird just now. Oh, my God. Only remember Yuri because my Oshi. Yuri is beautiful. Thank you, A320 Pilot. Thank you for the super. Mwah. Wait, I'm confused. Okay, don't click that. Scholar, are you seeing things that we can't see? No, Juan George. Thank you for the super. Mwah. Okay. So... Wait, did you verify the integrity of the game? Wait, what do you mean? <gasps> Wait, you guys told me to check something. Hold on. Wait, you guys told me to check something, right? Hold on. You guys told me to check the game file. How could I check the game file? No, we didn't. Yeah, you did. Some of you guys told me to check the files. No, just play. No, don't. Uh. Okay. So do I just press this? Because this is where we started, I believe. I, ca I can't read that. Hold on, we gotta warm up our voices. <gasps> Also, no spoilers. You guys already know that. Oh, yeah. Toki P. Oh, yeah. When you would schedule your Shadow Realm visit. Oh, my God. I should book some time off. Maybe I can find Sayori. Oh, my God, Pinkerton. Thank you for the super. Mwah. <laughs> Can't spoil something you don't know nothing about. Are you sensitive to triggers? No, but some people are. Therefore, trigger warning. Okay, are we ready? Let's... I don't know what any of this says. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally ob oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is... <laughs> My neighbor and good friend since we were children. Wait, is this like the wait? Hold on, is this like the beginning of the game? Wait, you know I the kind of friend you'd never see yourself. Make. Is is this not the beginning of the game? We still. This is the beginning of the game. Hello, but she's going to chase me. I feel like I feel better. What? However. I just... Did they just, like, freaking yeet Sayori's name or something? Um... Is my game broken? Huh? Huh? How long... Hold on. I didn't drop any frames. Reset the clock. What clock? Thank you, Envy Mizuhashi. Thank you for the super. Hold on. Thank you, Dabam is here. Thank you for the super. Is your file corrupt? I don't know. Thank you, Dabam is here. Thank you for the super. Mwah. SA Soldier, thank you for the super. Mwah. A320 Pilot, thank you for the super. Mwah. Um, what the fuck? It didn't say I lost any frames. It says my Wi Fi is still good. What the fuck? That was weird. Okay. It's an ordinary school day like any other. 
Mornings are usually the are usually I can't read. Mornings are usually the worst. Being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to get school. I can't read school together. Scarlet, if you see game weirdness, it's intentional. Oh, okay. Thank you, Rash Zakaya. Thank you for the soup. It's okay. It's a known bug carry on. A bug. Thank you, Warren Choi. Thank you for the soup. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. But I have no motivation to go to any clubs. Wait, this is the same shit. Blah, blah. There's an anime club. Hey, girl, give me a wink before your stream crashes. Thanks, Dank Lord. Thank you for the soup. Here's your fucking wink. Thank you. Mwah. Thank you, Dank Lord. Thank you for the soup. Mwah. The school day is ordinary. Okay. Pack the. This is the same shit. Clubs. Yo, this. I'm sorry. This is the. Hold on. Did my game restart? What the fuck? Wait, where's my saved file? Wait! I'm so confused. I guess I have no choice. Blah, 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 blah. C drive win. Oh my god, Boomer. Wow. Thank you for the super. What? Win 98 program Steam Common DDLC. Scarlos. <laughs> Monica? That was not absolutely terrifying. <laughs> oh my goodness. I totally didn't expect to see you here. I can't do the voice right now. <laughs> it's been a while, right? Uh, um, yeah, it has. Wait! Wait, what does she mean it's been a while? Did she say this in the beginning or am I just forgetting? Monica smiles sweetly. Oh, thank you, super, 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 it's all right. Game is early access. Oh my god, deep fried fried. I don't think so. Bugs are to be expected. This game has been out forever. Thank you, deep fried. Thank you for the soup. Mwah. Wait, did she always say that? What does she mean? It's been a while. Wait, did she say that at the beginning or did I just forget? We don't know each other. Well, oh no. Okay, I think I remember this part. But we were in the same class last year. Okay, I remember now. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. Uh, been a while since you last streamed the game. Duh. I mean, true. It was a whole week. Thank you, Dankler. Thank you for the soup. Blah, blah. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... What did you come here? I can't read. What did you come in here for anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use it for my club room. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? Uh, I, I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? Huh? About that? I actually quit. Wait, we didn't... Did we talk about the debate club before? Am I stupid? I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the political... All the poli politics... Oh, okay. I think I remember this. I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club do you decide to join? Um, actually, I'm starting a new one. Wait. Yeah, this isn't... Okay, is this like a new part? Yeah. Because it was Sayori telling us to join the club. I don't think Monica talked to us before it. <laughs> A literature club! Literature? That sounds kind of dull. Uh, how many members do you have so far? Huh? <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's a horror game. Weirdness is the experience. I know, Chibo D. Crockett. Thank you for the soup. It's getting spicy. It's kind of embarrassing, but there's only three. Where the fuck is Sayori? 
Yo, yo fool, you are merely a beginner debater. It takes a true disciplinary of arts to become a ma- Oh my fucking god, Jazz. Thank you for the soup. Um, mwah. Why are, what, why are you guys saying who Sayori? Y'all were fucking here last time. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know. Literature can be anything reading, writing, and poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeping her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? That's, um, Natsuki, right? Yeah, it's funny, right? No, it's not. She always insists that manga is literature, too. Is it fucking not? Uh, I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. I would have backhanded you if you were gonna say it wasn't. And besides, a member is a member, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm. Hey, Scarlos. By any chance, are you looking for to join? I can't read. Are you looking? Are you still looking for a club to join? What do you mean last time? I thought this was the first stream. Warren, I swear to God. Thank you, Warren Choi. Thank you for the super. Mwah. Scarlet, this is part one from last week. Y'all are hurting my brain. Thank you, SA Soldier. Thank you for the super. Uh, I mean, I guess so, but in that case... Huh? There is there any chance you could be do me a big favor? I can't read. I won't ask you to join, but if you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. I don't trust you. Please, I don't trust you. Um Well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica cuz she's horrible? Uh, sure. I guess I could check it out. You fucking simp. Uh -huh. Awesome. You're really sweet, Scarlas. You know that? I'm so fucking sweet. Uh, it's nothing really. Uh, shall we go then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. Go away. In this game, you must have trust the process. You can do this. Thank you, Metal. Yeah, thank you for the soup. But mwah. I think her save actually did get lost. Same stuff. Jesus Christ. Thank you, Boomer. Wow. Thank you for the soup. But. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. I need a Monica. No, you don't, Jonathan. Thank you for the soup. But. Mwah. I typically follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit being generally used for third year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm back! And I brought a guest with me! <laughs> what the fuck was that? <coughs> oh, here's... A <coughs> <coughs> uh, 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 guest. <laughs> Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Huh, don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club. Um, all words escaped me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. <laughs> so, let me guess. Uh, any funny color moment? Oh my god, Dank Lord. Thank, thank you, Dank Lord Weed Smash. Thank you for the soup. Uh, mwah. So, let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, Natsuki. The girl with our, the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Hold on, my microphone. Okay. <clears throat> Her small figure makes me think she pro she's probably a first year. Huh. Anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. Uh, this is the last time you and her are hanging out. Oh my God, I say soldier. Thank you for the suba. Mwah. And this is Yuri, the vice president. Wait, Sayori was the vice president. Wait, no! Wait, is this whole game? Is this. Wait, is this like Sayori wasn't even here? I'm gonna fucking cry. Uh, uh it, it's nice to meet you. Yuri appears comparable, more mature, and timid. It seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Uh, it's nice to meet both of you. Huh. So, I ran into Scarlos in a classroom, and he decided to come check out the club. 
Isn't that great? Wait, Monica. Didn't I tell you that... <clears throat> didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I, I was going to... Well, you know. Oh, sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case... It, um, I don't know. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that'd be great. Why don't you come sit down? I don't want to fucking sit down. The girls have a few desks rearranged to form a table. Yuri walks around the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it is my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Uh, I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. Wait, now my Wi-Fi... No! Monica, please don't fuck my Wi-Fi. Monica, please. Are we good, bro? I'm so scared right now. <laughs> Wait, is this normal? Wait, legit, is Monica fucking my Wi-Fi? Like, is this real? I swear to fucking God. Bro, is this normal? Wait, I think we good. The bomb is here, I'm scared. Is this normal? The bomb is here, thank you for the soup. I'm scared, I'm scared. What the fuck, is it just me? Is Monica coming from my Wi-Fi? I'm scared, bitch, I'm scared. <laughs> Help me. She's in my router? God, no, please, God, no. Please don't, Monica. I'm surprised there aren't many people in the club yet. I, it must be hard to start a new club. Wow, this game's so realistic, Pinkerton. I'm scared shitless. Thank you for the supa. Oh, you could put it that way. Weird this happens when you mention Sayori. Kill me, Deep Fried Fried. Fred? Oh, Deep Fried Fred. I'm so sorry, baby. Thank you, Deep Fried Fred. Thank you for the soupa. Mwah. Monica coming from the Wi-Fi, no Vaseline. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm so scared, Black Doom. I'm so scared, baby. Thank you for the soupa. Certified Skylab moment. Certified freak seven days a week. Thank you, Take Love. Thank you for the soupa, baby. Mwah. I don't know, Sayori and Luna. Are you okay? Envy, I swear to fucking God. Thank you, Envy Mizuhashi. Thank you for the fucking soupa. Not many people are very interested in putting effort to start something new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we will all grow to this club when we can graduate. Right, Natsuki? Um, well, I, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have really worked hard to find these two. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. Are you still stuck at the star? Is this a monstrum Nihil? Nihil, do not make me go over there and choke you, baby. Thank you for the soup, Nihil. Mwah. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us per before sitting down a teapot. Scarlet's a game like Mario, SC Soldier, I swear to God. Thank you for the soup. Mwah. Are we real? The only real one is only Monica. Thank you, Juan George. Thank you for the soup. Mwah. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? <laughs> D don't worry. The teachers gave us special permission. Hi, Yuri. You can hide in my Wi-Fi any day, Monica. Kitsuna Forest, get your weird fetishes out of my chat! I'm kidding. Thank you, Kitsuna Forest. Thank you for the zuba. After all, doesn't a hot teacup help you enjoy a good book? Not really. I don't I don't read. No. Uh I guess. <laughs> don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. <laughs> That's not it. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that. You know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. Uh, I'm glad. 
We are doing full gameplay. Yudi faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Scarlos, what kind of things do you like to read? Uh, well, um... Considering how little I've read this past few years, I, I don't really have a good answer of that. Uh, manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Aw, cause she likes manga. It looks like she wants to say something, but just keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Uh, well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Uh, anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, you see... Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorite are usually novels that build up a complex fantasy worlds. The levels of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. And, but obviously, by the way her eyes light up, she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. This isn't any I can't read. Um, isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Huh, <sighs> huh. Anyway. I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Oh, I, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp anything I can relate to at a minimum level. At this rate, Yuri might as well have a conversation with a rock. Haha, <laughs> I didn't expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Uh, oh, is that so? Uh, really, if a story makes, thing makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal. Horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, um... See, her voice is, um, like, okay, so, um, well, I just, um... Natsuki's eyes darted over me for a split second. Never mind. Ha, huh, that's right! You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Uh, what? Uh, what gives you that idea? Oh, you left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looks like you were working on a poem called... Uh, don't say it out loud! Uh, give it back! Uh -huh. Fine, fine. Uh, not, uh, Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, uh, well, uh, I guess sometimes. Uh, why do you care? Uh, I think that's impressive. Uh, why don't you share them sometime? No! Natsuki adverts her eyes. Y you wouldn't like them. Ah, not very confident writer yet. Ha! Huh. I understand. Oh, wait. <clears throat> I understand. I can't read. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes just more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up your readers. Exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Uh. Um, ha! Do you have any writing experience too, Yuri? I can't read! Maybe, if you were to share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers! Uh, I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I got an idea. How about this? <laughs> Natsuki and Yudi look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. And the next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. And that way, everyone is even. <laughs> uh. Ah, I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for us to participate in together. I did decide to take on responsibility of vice president after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have our member, a new member I, I can't read, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Skylos? Uh, hold on. There, There is one problem. Huh? What's that? 
now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with that's what's been on my mind this entire time. Uh, I never said I'd join this club. Monica may have convinced me to stop by. It was, it was, it was fucking Saigoti before. It was fucking Saigoti before. Hmm. Wait, what do you mean? I did take a shower. Hmm. But I never made a decision. My god, your Monica voice. What? Well, what? Uh, I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... I lose my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with detached, de de dejected eyes. Hmm... But... Hold on, let me fix something. You don't see my cursor. No, you don't. Okay. Okay. Oh, thank you, Animix... Animix... Anime lover, thank you. But... Uh, I'm sorry, I, I thought... <laughs> huh? The girls exchange glances before Monica turns back at me. Huh, <sighs> I, I guess I need to tell you the truth. The thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four. And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if, I, if we don't find one before the festival... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. Um... And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if writing poems is the price to pay, is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that? No, I don't. Uh, yeah. It could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. I, I mean, if you, like, I don't know what to do for her voice at all. I mean, if you really just left after all that, I would be super pissed. Ha, oh, Scarless, I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Uh, thanks. I guess. Okay, everyone. I think that with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting, and we can all share. Monica looks over at me at once. I look forward to seeing what you how you would express yourself. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety whelping up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yudi cleans up the tea. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay! I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. Get out of my fucking face. With that, I, dis I dispart the club and on my way home. The whole way my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have a chance to go closer to one of these girls. Alright, I just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. I don't want to write a poem. Uh... What do you- you have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Should we read it? Hmm. Do it? Okay. A dream. I was wandering an abandoned warehouse at night. I was lost, looking for an exit. I just wanted to go home. I came upon a huge empty room, its ceiling and walls beyond the deep, dark, deep blackness. My steps were quite- I can't read. My steps were quick in order to hurry to the other side. Or to a wall. Anything. Siri voice. Suddenly, the ground was no longer beneath my feet. I stepped into a hole of indeterminate width. I fell for a good five seconds before crashing into warm water. Figuring out which way was up, I surfaced myself. The air was humid, and the sounds of my splashing reverted endlessly. My vision was completely shallowed by the dark, 
With one hand, I could feel the damp metal wall of the counter. Container. I can't read. My l- <clears throat> I can do TikTok. My lungs were already getting tired. <laughs> okay. Dipper. Um, I guess. Not the best thing I ever heard. Y'all crazy. Hmm. Get a yellow coin. What? Um, captive? Uh, vivacious? Um, desire? Mmm. Secretive? Agonizing? Sadness? Shit! I clicked too fast. Um, fear? Um, alone? Uh, cry? Mm -hmm. Empty? Massacre? Um, graveyard? Hmm. Mm. Faster? Oh, hello, people coming in. Hello. Um, uh, vitality, incapable, shit, pip, shit, pickles. Uh, crimson? That was long as hell. Hi again! Glad to see you didn't run away from us. <laughs> uh, nah, don't worry. I don't know, brah. Something weird about that girl. Something kind of weird about that Monica. Huh, this, the, the. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my wor word. While well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else was hanging already. What? Is there something wrong with the game? Should I restart? I think it's fine. Um, um, thanks for keeping your promise. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Wait, Do I need to restart my game? Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> so, um... Sorry for not making it to the member stream. No problem, Banglog. No problem at all, baby. Thank you for the soup. Um, so, I'm um, seeing Natsuki's voice is really interesting. I don't know what I do for her. Okay, so... Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I, I don't know. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take it seriously, then you won't hear the end of it. See the end of it. I can't read. Hey, Monica! Natsuki... Natsuki's big mouth for someone who keeps manga collection in the classroom. Is there something wrong? Can you move? Um, I can't read it. What the fuck? Um, game developers, I think you fucked up. The PNG is supposed to go behind the speech bubble. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. <clears throat> Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plumps back into her seat. I'm sorry. We'll make sure to put your your comfort first. Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Um, anyway... Hmm. Now that you're in the club room and all, perhaps you might have an interest in picking up a book to read? Uh, well... Hmm... I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now. So it only feels right to me to do something like that, if you ask. Uh, wait. I didn't mean it like that. Um, if you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Uh, uh no, it's, it's not that. What's wrong with the background? What's wrong, Scarlet? You look tilted. I'm not angry. 
Thank you, Frantix. Thank you for the super, baby. Mwah. Speaking of Panji, let's say you're off angle. What are you talking about? Thank you, Envy Mizuhashi. Thank you for the super. Mwah. Um, I want to try to be a part of this club. So even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Uh, are you sure? I, I just felt like, well, as vice president and all, that I should help you get started on something you might like. Um, Yodi reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. Uh, I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention if you don't usually read. Oh, Nihil, don't do that. No, it's okay. Everything is fine, Nihil. What's with the freaking text? Thank you, Nihil. Thank you for the soup. Mwah. Hmm. And we could, you know, discuss it um, if you want. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked up a book she thinks I'd like, despite me not even reading much. Uh, Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Huh. Oh. Hello, eyes. Now that everything everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for this club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. Um... Mm. I can't. Sounds like you're plugging your nose. Actually, no. For for Yuri, I just um go like this. I don't I don't plug my nose. I I can just do it. <laughs> um, I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Also, I'm kind of nasally right now. Hold on, let me do that one exercise. That. <laughs> Okay, supposedly that helps get rid of nas nasaliness. I hope. I'm really curious to talk to Yudi a little bit more. But at the same time, I feel I would feel bad for distancing her from reading. I don't have boogies. I just talk nasally all the time. <sighs> I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book she had lent to me. More than that, it seems like she's the f she read the first few pages. Uh... Crap! I think she noticed me looking at her. Oh no! She sneaks another glance at me and our eyes meet for a split second. Um... But that only makes her hide her face deeper in the book. Sorry. Uh, I was just spacing out. I muttered this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh... It's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this. Uh, that's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. Um... What's with her eye? I just noticed that. Um... In interesting. Um... Hmm... Art error, maybe? Uh, I wanted to reread some of it. Oh, okay. It fixed itself. Okay. Uh, not for any particular reason. Uh, just curious. How come you have two copies of the same book? Uh, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, uh, that's not what I meant. Uh, I mean, uh, you just happened to buy two of them. I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decide to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Ah, uh, is that so? What's the story about anyway? Well... Hmm... That's a bad case of like that. You should look into it. Oh my god, Pinkerton. Thank you for the soup. Uh, I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about reli this religious camp that turned into a human... 
Um. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. But the facility gets even worse, and they start selecting breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them too. Oh, I, I, I might be a little bit, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. But, but anyway, I, I'm really into it. Uh, the book, I mean. Uh, uh, not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? You already made it sound like it was going to be a nice story. That's so dark and it can't turn... I, that, that, I can't read, so that dark turn came out of nowhere. Uh, are you not a fan of that sort of thing? Uh, no, it's, it's not that. I mean, I, I definitely enjoy those kind of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that kind of story. It's the kind of story that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just to you, not I can't read. When horrible things be ha I, I, why can't I read? When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil. What? Um. But, but because the world is full of horrible people, and we're all worthless anyway. Then suddenly, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Uh, hey, d don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let when I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my whole. Huh? Huh? Interesting. <coughs> I'm dying. Interesting. I I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So, I'm sorry if I ended up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start taking talking too much. Uh, that's... I really don't think you need to worry. That's just me... That's That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Um... That's... Well, that's true. In fact... I might as well get started reading it right. <laughs> oh, that scared the fuck out of me. Oh my god. Uh, yes. I mean, you don't have to, but... <laughs> what are you saying? Uh, let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I put in my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here. I slip into the seat next to Yudi's. Uh, uh, yeah... Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. Uh, uh, that's... Uh, I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I, I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yudi means about reading in company. It's as if I feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yudi is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Uh, sorry. I, I was just bathing in the- What? What is, what is happening here? Did anyone catch what that said? Oh, I can't go back. Yo, did anyone read what that said? Look up history. Um. It doesn't say. That's kind of weird. Let's 
That's kind of weird. Why do you sound off-put from a dating sim? What do you mean? Wait, why do you sound off-put from a... What do you mean, SA soldier? What do you mean? Thank you for the super, baby. Mwah. Uh, Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? Uh, I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> off put put off? Oh, I was confused. Uh, here. This should work, right? I slide my desk until I'm up. it's up against Yuri's. Then hold my book more between the two of them. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Cop copy! Once we each lean in one a bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Everything's totally normal. I can't read. Everything's totally normal, right? I am not sure, Juan George. I am not sure. Thank you for the soup. Mwah. It feels like my left arm is in the way. So instead, I use my right hand to hold the book open. Uh, I, I guess that makes it diff a bit difficult to turn the page. Here. Oh, it's the cutscene. Wait, we've seen this one. Wait, why do I have to go over like the same game again? You guys said this was normal, but like I'm literally replaying the game. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her left and forearm. Ah, I do the same thing with my right arm on the right side of the book. The way I turn a page and Yuri slides her under. Hey, Carrie! Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Um... To turn the page. Um, yeah. Sorry. I think I just got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again, and our eyes met. I don't, I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Um, yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it on my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page is almost blah 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 blah. The game repeats to show how different things are without Sayori. Mm. Oh, okay, that makes sense. And to make you miss her, this is normal. You're doing great. Thank you, Metal Nia. Thank you for the soup. Oh, that's kind of sad. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it further over her to side. I can't over to her side as her, she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Eh? Uh, no, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she says and all that. Uh, uh. Um, that's what you were talking about. Sorry, I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? Uh, never mind. What's wrong with her? Um, Yuri, are you okay? Uh, we didn't even get that far yet. So, uh, I don't know why that came in my head. <laughs> uh, Yuri, are you feeling alright? <laughs> Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. Uh, you can rest if you're feeling sick or something. I'm kind of scared. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her head on her chest. <sighs> Fuck! As if to feel her heartbeat. Uh, I didn't even notice. Anyway, uh, I'm fine. Uh, I just need some water. Uh, alright. Don't, don't push yourself. I'm kinda scared. Yuri... Yuri... Yuri stands up and practices- I can't read. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the room. What on earth was that about? Scarlos, did you- did something happen? Huh? Uh, I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. 
So, you don't know anything. Uh, sorry, can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. Huh? I wouldn't do shit. N nothing. <laughs> don't worry, I believe you, silly. Yuri just does something... Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's not alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Huh? Uh, shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Uh, well, she might be a while, so I figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, I was just asking. I stand up, I make a mental note where I left off in the book, then slipped it back into my bag. Uh, I don't want to read. Let's go, Natsuki. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. Oh, good night, Rex. Thank you for coming. <clears throat> um, ha ha ha. Yo, okay. Um, if you're not going to take this club seriously, then go home. Uh, what? Harsh. What? You expect me to believe that you actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? Uh, I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I put effort in. Put in effort. We all start somewhere, right? Oh, good night, Rex. Thank you for coming. Mwah. If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. <laughs> Painful to think about. <laughs> Fine. Well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. I'd tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. Uh, fair enough. Well, to each their own, I guess. Uh, um, anyway, I, I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, uh, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Interesting poem. Uh, yeah. I, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Uh, uh, just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of writing poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yeah, exactly. I, I like when it's easy to read because it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you great, do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Uh, yeah, I understand. <laughs> but the other nice thing about writing simple poems is that it puts more weight on wordplay. Like, I set up for a rhythm at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feelings in the last line. Uh, so you did. I guess more went into that than I realized. Yeah, and that's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Uh, yeah. G yes, not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care about how old everyone is, but if Natsuki's feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Oh yeah, we're in Act 2. Uh, Monica? Hi! Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Ha, <laughs> good. I'm glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new here, if you ever have any suggestions to the club like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Uh, alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want me to share your poem with me? Uh, it's kind of embarrassing, but I guess. <laughs> Don't worry, we're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Uh, yeah. That's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm. Great job. I wasn't getting ho oh in my head while reading it. It's really metaphoric. 
I'm not sure why, but I ex didn't expect you to go something so deep. I guess you're underestimating me. Wait, you! I guess you're underestimating- I can't read! I guess I underestimated you. Your voice sounds rem reminds me of every waitress in the South. Two shakes while asking, Oh, you mean like a good old Southern Belle? I don't know. <laughs> it's easier for me to keep everyone's expectations low. Uh, that's why it's always- it, I can't read. That's why it always counts when I put more, some effort. <laughs> that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't- I don't mean like- I can't read. I don't mean like- I, Why can't I read? I don't mean that it's like a bad thing though. But sometimes I get the impression that she totally has given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she used to be indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strong. Like earlier, I think she's gotten too stimulated. Hello? Hello? She ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time. Me. How Not to Read by Scarlet. I know. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! Uh, I'm back. Uh, did I... Did I miss anything? Oh, not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Uh, uh, already? Uh, I'm sorry for being late. Oh, no need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more than glad that you took all you needed. Uh, Alright. Uh, thanks, Monica. I suppose I should get my poem out now. Anyway, do you want to read my poem? Not really. Um, I, I don't want to read it, really. Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident as someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have some, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I'm always feeling that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it. A hole in the wall. I already read this poem, but he wasn't looking at me. Confused. Uh, confused as a frantically glance at my surrounding, but burning my eyes and no longer see color. There's other rooms of the world. What are they talking? Are they simply poems on the flashy paper? The sound of frantic scrawling, playing trick on my ears. The void being blingling a crinkle, closing in my eyes. The air I feel the speed before it reaches my lungs. I panic. These are muscle way. I'm right over there. Here, right there. Swallowing enough here in pain. Sorry. Monica seems nice. I like the cut of her jib. What's a jib? Thank you, SA Soldier. Thank you for the soup. Mwah. Um, <clears throat> so, what do you think? Great. Huh, it's very free form, if that's what you call it. Uh, sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Uh, it's okay. Huh, it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. Oh, good night, Kibbles. Oh, good night, Kibbles. Thank you for coming. When performed out loud, it can be very powerful. That was the imper- that wasn't- that was- the, I can't read. What was the imper- inspiration behind this one? Ah, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. Epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about stuff like that, because it's kind of- kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Um, sometimes when you're writing a poem, a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it, this I can't read. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll get just to the dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. I can't read. My firewall is down and PC exposed. I'm ready for your what, sir? What, Kitsune Forest? Thank you for the super. Last is Yuri. <laughs>
can't read! Let me drink water. It's, it's Yudi. As Yudi reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Mm. All right, you should play smarter than a fifth grader. Absolutely not, because I would just show how much of a dumbass I really am. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. What's that? Hmm. Hmm. I have to hiccup. Sorry. Ah. Okay. Uh, 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 did Did I say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth, but ends up covering her whole face. Ah, I um, uh, 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 he's going to hate me. No, I'm not, baby. Um, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Uh, uh, that's um, I I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Yuri takes a deep a breath. So. What kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicate you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Oh wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? Uh, Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. Mm. Well, I, I know that. I just meant, um... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her fingers along the words in the palm as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there is a specific habit I can't read. It's just that there's a specific writing habit that are usually typical for new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make new style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both styles and expressiveness are weakened. <laughs> Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that got into it, writing even as a poem. A simple poem, I can't read. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by exp example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club is giving you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased, though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It, it's fine. Oh wait, it's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself or to me or Natsuki. Uh, do you mind if I read your poem now? Uh, please do. Aw, oh, she's cute. Hearing I can't read in five different voices, I'm sorry. Uh, I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamingly, dreamy, dreamily, as if that was a rare opportunity for. Take a shot every time I say can't read. Absolutely not. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be the literature club? Uh, <clears throat> a ghost into the night, a trundling of my hair, illuminating beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this new. I can't read. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have the witness of the zone of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue green hue of the future blade. I, b I bathe. Calm. Breathing in air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Done. There's the shot. What? Huh? Uh, I'm sorry. I, I have real terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. Um, but it took you as long to, it took you a long time to read it. Oh, good night, Jatha. Thank you for coming, baby. Mwah. Um. Well, I just don't read scripts very often. I actually think your writing is very pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it is really descriptive. It wasn't too short. 
I usually like write longer poems. Uh, not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first sharing, I wanted to write something a little mild, more mild. Why can't I read? Sometimes, why, why can't... That's a shot. No shots. Why? Why does my brain like to mix up words? Why? 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 Some something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Uh huh. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did gl only glance over it after all. But remember that- Yeah, maybe I am reading too fast. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. Yeah, because this is kind of just repetitive, so I was trying to like read it faster. They usually do more than test a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolic compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a little more solemn putting it that way. I had- Oh, I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Eh? It's nothing, really. Yours always isn't impressive, too, so... Nah. I if anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. I you think so? Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all this, but in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you. I, 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 read, if you hold control, it's easier to read. Really? Thank you, Boomer Wow. Thank you for the Zoopa. Wait, are you shitting my dick right now, Boomer Wow? If I press control, what does it do? She needs slower subtitles? Not even. I just need to stop reading so fast. Wait, then what's control for? I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Skylos. Ah, me too. Finally. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little less stressful than I anticipated. As if I can't read. It's as if everyone is judging me with my mediocre writing abilities. It... Sorry, I s Yeah, the music sounded weird for a second. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a this is a literature this is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her book, notebook. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. I gingerly exchange sheets of paper. They they why can't I read? They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows frown in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What? What is this language? Uh, uh, um, did you say something? Uh, no, it, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk and with one hand. Uh, I guess you could say it's fancy. I love how subtitled this game is. There's so much. Ugh. Uh, thanks. Yours is, um, cute. What? D did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that, how can that be cute? Uh, I, I know that. I, I just meant the language, I guess. I wasn't trying to say something nice. Huh? Y you mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but I really didn't come out nice. I can't read. Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Uh, um. 
Uh, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Wait, why is the loading screen? Wait, was I lagging? Which, which I can't read. Which people did, by the way. I can't read. Uh, Monica liked it. And Scarlos, too. So, based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions on my own. First of all... Uh, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon. Unless, of course, I come across anything particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. <laughs> and Scarlos liked my poem, too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. <laughs> uh, that's not what I... Uh, um, you, you're just a... Yuri stands up as well. Ooh, the girls are fighting! Um, maybe you're just jealous that Scarlet appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Huh? How about you... How do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? Uh, um... Uh, no. If I wasn't full of myself, then I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. <gasps> well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew bigger a size bigger as soon as Scarlet started showing up. Uh, Natsuki! Oh, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! Uh, taking... Taking out your insecurities on others like that. You really acting as... Uh, 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 what's going on? What's going on? What's, what's going on? Um... Uh, you really act as young as you look, Natsuki. What, me? Look who's talking, you wanna be edgy bitch. <gasps> Ooh, bitch, she called her a bitch. Edgy? Sorry that my lifestyle is, is too much for someone who of your mental age can pop a cup of hand. See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know? If, if you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your stinking, with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The only thing, the only thing cute about you is how hard you try. <gasps> Ooh, Yuri coming with the hands, baby. Sayori, please come back and stop this. Please, Froggy Fran. Thank you, Froggy Fran. Thank you for the soup. Mwah. Well, well, be care. I can't read. Be careful, or you might do cut yourself on the edge. Oh my God, Nihil! Thank you for the super baby. What is happening? Oh, my bad. You already do, don't you, <gasps> Natsuki? Did, did did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the? F oh, what the fuck? Um, okay. What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. It lets Scarlos hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. <laughs> Suddenly, Yuri turns towards me as if she noticed I was standing here. <laughs> Scarlos. Oh, shit. <laughs> She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Um, 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 Yuri. Yuri! 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 What the fuck is happening? Yuri! 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 Oh, fuck. Yuri? <gasps> oh, that is fucking creepy as shit! Ten bucks on Yuri! Thank you, Yvonne and Choi! Thank you for the super that- Oh my fucking god! Oh my- I'm- Huh? <gasps> That is creepy as shit. Are you gonna say anything? Um... Hey! Why don't we step outside for a bit? Uh, this game is hella buggy, brah, SA Soldier. I'm so- oh my god, thank you, SA Soldier. Thank you for the soup up. Okay. Sorry about that. 
They really shouldn't have tried to get involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. Ha <laughs> ha! Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to do a little more assert- I, I j can't read. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Oh, good night, Pinkerton. Thank, thank you for coming, baby. Mwah. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. <coughs> oh, she's crying. Oh. <gasps> oh. She quickly runs away. Oh. Oh dear. Well, look. Well, it looks like they're done now. Uh, I I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri. Aww. I, I didn't mean it. I believe you. What did she say to her? Did she say something else? I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Scarlos, please don't hate me. Please. Uh, I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. Oh, it's fine, Yuri. There's no music. Oh, shit, there's not. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it tomorrow. C completely. <sighs> mm. Anyway, the meeting's over, so you can go home now if you want. Mm. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something. But she keeps glancing at Monica. Uh, you can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. <laughs> well, I'm the vice president, so... Please let me take the responsibility today. It's, it kind of sounds like you don't want me around for some reason. I can't read. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not like that. It's not that. I just, uh, I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Carlos. It would be just embarrassing if you were listening. Huh. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? Hi, Carlos Opera. I want you around, Monica. I do not want Monica around. I am terrified. Uh, uh, I'm sorry for causing trouble, but I re <laughs> What the fuck? Bro, this is tripping me out, dude. Holy shit. Oh my god, um... Broken. Um, cage. Um, tenacious. Um, contamination. Unstable, um, hopeless, um, 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 anger, um, massacre, um, melancholy, um, agonizing. She didn't have a choice. Totally normal. Boomer. Wow, I am terrified. Thank you for the soup. Um, shame. Um, disaster. Pout. Um, frightening. Uh, Papa. Marshmallow? Anxiety. Scars. Vivacious. Alone. Bro, I'm scared. Huh. Another day, and it's time for the club, for the club me meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here for, for... I can't read. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club, I can't read. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hello? Uh, welcome back. Hello? Hello? Uh, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression. 
But the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air. You don't fucking see the problem, dude? Damn, she bad. Bad in what way? Um. Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki's reading a manga at the desk. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. Uh, about yesterday. I, I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. It's not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri. Uh, I'm happy you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it is, it didn't make me think any less of you. I already had decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Uh, uh, Scarlos, don't say those kind of things so, frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around. Uh, sorry, uh, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, um, have you seen Monica? <laughs> no. Uh, no I haven't. Uh, I was kind of wondering where she was. Man. So, um, Yuri, I, I guess you haven't either. Um. Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. Uh, no, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. Uh, what? Why are you looking at me like that? Uh, uh, uh Natsuki. Uh, oh, oh, good night, Chrome. Thank you for coming, baby. Good luck, good night. Mwah. Go rest, honey. Uh, uh Natsuki, uh, about yesterday. Oh, shit, I didn't even check for monetization. Let me see. We'll see how it- let me see, let me see, let me see. Kinda scared. Thank God we're still monetized. Thank God. Okay. Uh, Natsuki, about yesterday, I- I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean anything- any of that or things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, um... Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Uh... Jeez. Whatever... Um, whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. It don't even... I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who is worried too much about the little things, aren't you? Uh... Does she really not remember? Uh, but... That is terrifying! What the fuck? Me balls, sailcloth, blindsight, five, eight, fine, lifeline, and then receptacle, faultlessly offered, scarily, almost, um, what? Um? Um? Damn, Natsuki got some soft lips. Bruh, what the fuck was that? Um, okay. <clears throat> See, I don't know why I make Natsuki sound annoying. I'll accept your apology anyway, if it makes you feel better about it. Besides, it's nice to hear, it's nice to hear, since I always afraid you secretly hate me or something. <laughs> uh, no, not at all. I don't hate you. <laughs> Well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. <laughs> Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Ah! Hey! I said I can fix Natsuki, so I did. Envy Mizuhashi, I don't know about this baby. Suddenly, the door swings open. Ha! <laughs> sorry. I'm super sorry. Ha! <sighs> there you- Wait, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. 
Nah. Well, Natsuki was. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Wait, I was not. <laughs> w what took you so long anyway? Huh. <sighs> well, my last period today was study hall. I can fix her. Kurt, I don't think you can, homie. I love Monica, do you? Mortuation is scary. Doki Doki Literature Club, hold my beer. And to be honest, I just kind of lost track of time. <laughs> oh, that makes no sense, though. Talking about fixing, you can fix me, Monica. Monica's gonna break me, if anything. Thank you, Kitsuna Force. Thank you for the soup. Now nah, I got her. I can fix her. Kurt, no, you fucking can't. Scarlo should have noticed something was wrong when characters were out of character. I'm scared. I'm scared. This is a normal game. Everything's normal. We are normal. We made sure I swear to fucking God. Um, you would have heard that bell ring at least. Oh, I must have not heard it since I was practicing piano. I'm starting to think Monica's not practicing piano. I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Huh? Don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Monica is one hell of a power stance. I know, right? Thank you, SA Soldier. Mwah. Still, that must require a lot of dedication. So, I'm still impressed. <laughs> well, thanks, Yui. Um, so you should play something for us sometime. Everything's fine. There's nothing wrong. This is fine. Thank you, Sky626. Thank you, 27. I can't read. Thank you for the super baby. Mwah. And thank you so much for being in the apprenticeship for two months. Thank you, Sky. Mwah. <laughs> That's it. Monica looks at me. Her face, her straight on face is getting creepier and creepier to me. Well, I am working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That, uh, that sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down. Her smile just gets more creepy. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Uh-huh, <laughs> don't worry. I was hoping I could share it with you anyway. Um, I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. Um, 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 um. Uh, I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club. By the way, she's the one looking right straight at you. The rest are looking at you at an angle. I did not notice that. Until you said that. Kyo, I'm so scared, Kyo. It's just got weird. I'm, yes, they did. I'm really scared, Kyo. What's up, bro? How's the collab? In that case, best of luck. <laughs> Thanks. So, I didn't miss anything, did I? Uh, not really. I chose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Just wait till it gets worse. Kyo, don't scare me! Besides, Natsuki already ran off into the closet. Uh, uh, Skylos. Um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I mean, I mean in, in the club. Uh, yeah, definitely. I planned on it anyway. Uh, okay. Uh, can we start now? Uh, let me, let's find a place to sit. Uh, I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, my heart, it, it just won't stop pounding for some reason. Uh, don't worry about it. You can fix her my ass. If anything, it's nice to see you having much more energy. Uh, yeah. But, um, I need to try to calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Why she sound like Enna? Oh, my roomie. So, so I don't even know how to do Enna. Um, so, yeah, yeah. No, I can't. <laughs> I'm sorry, senpai. <laughs> Take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath and pulls a copy of a book out of her bag. Um... You need to stop suffering. Oh my god. Uh, actually... Ac <clears throat> actually, I have a request. See, apparently the soft one... Like, oh, oh god, oh heavens, how did I get here? Um, do you, um, do you mind if I make some tea first? Uh, not at all. 
Thanks very much. Uh, if there's one thing I can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Uh, not to mention for yourself, as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, that kind with a filter inside. Uh, can you hold this for a second? Uh, sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. Uh, I'm going to plug this in a teacher's desk, and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms, especially because of her long legs. Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? See? Now that I see it, now I notice. She doesn't look straight on at us like Monica. Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, uh, I might as well walk with you. Um, uh, that's okay. Uh, you can s you stay here. It won't take long. Uh, pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries to top the closet. Ha! Huh. Did Yuri leave again? Uh, no, it's not like that this time. She just went to go. She just filling up the water for the pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Hmm. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting for her, so I decide to go look for her. Let's go find her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hall. Ha ha! Ha ha! What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. Kuh! A sharp inhale like someone is sucking the air through their teeth? Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? <gasps> oh shit! Um... Yuri, baby! I can't... Uh, a baby! Are, are you okay? There's a trigger warning. It's pinned. I'm I'm I, I'm scared. I am um I'm, I'm terrified. Reset the clock. I don't know what you're talking about, Envy Mizuhashi. Thank you for the soup, but I I don't know what you're talking about. I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. S uh, do you like oolong tea? Uh, yeah. It's rewind time. Uh, anything is fine. Very, uh, very well. Um, Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. Uh, you really do this properly, don't you? Of course. Uh, um... I'm, I'm, I'm kind of panicking right now a little bit. Um, uh, I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Uh, even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. Huh. Are you okay, baby? Honey! Are, are, you, are you okay, baby? Are you okay? I ooh longer want to be part of this club. I know I ooh longer want to either. Thank you, Froggy Fran. Thank you for the Zupa. That was crazy. In, in that case, you'll only be even a few. I can't. I can't read. Even in that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Ah, uh, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? Oh wait, no, that was our line. I was letting it show, and you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided I would try to express myself a little more. It turns out it's not very hard to, for me to do, too. And when it's... I can't read. When it's you who's around, anyway. Ah. Well, that's great. 
And just don't just don't push yourself too hard. You're always worrying about me. It's very endearing. Uh, that's Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep this up. I can't read. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for us for why why can't I read? Kurt help me, I can't read. Best girl. Scarlos, I have a request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Uh, why is that? It's a little easier on my back. Uh, I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. I feel like this is too much reading, bruh. It's too much reading. Uh, sorry, I, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have a back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why is that? I wonder too. Uh, it's most likely because of my... Uh, um, my, um... Your posture, right? Yeah, the posture. Uh, always hunched over like that while reading. What for shame? Uh, yeah. Uh, I have terrible reading posture. So that's why I sit on the floor. Uh, fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. And, uh, uh ha, ha I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assumed the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Oh. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. I'm very, um, what do you call it? Scared? Yuri, baby, are you okay? Look at her face. She's so cute. Look at her face, honey. She's really, really cute. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but... When she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hands that's not holding the book, I ended up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. That's right. No touch. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. Focus, men! Focus! After a few minutes, I finally managed to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumbled with the chocolate wrapper. Uh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have some if you, but you can have as much as you want. Stay focused, brothers! Uh, that's, um, that's okay. I won't take any. Eh? Are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. Sorry, the music... Did the music sound weird for a second? Am I crazy? I didn't even think about that. My bad. Uh, no need to apologize. It'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Aw, she's cute still. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so I don't have a harder time of reading. I, I can't read. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look it away from the book. She simply parts her lips, and as if the situation was completely normal, it. but that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Aw, this is cute. Just like that, Yudi closes her lips over it. Eh? Yudi's expression suddenly breaks. Aww. Um. Did, um, did I just... Yudi looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um... Skylos. Uh, sorry. I guess I should've- I shouldn't have done that. <gasps> Why did the music stop? Why did the music stop? Yuri starts breathing heavily. 
I, I, I can't. What's what's going on? Oh, Yuri forcibly what? Suddenly, Yuri forcibly grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup. The trigger warning's at the top. There's already one. She's so cute, but the music stop kind of says, I'm terrified. I'm terrified, bruh. My teacup's getting my tea. I can't read. My teacup gets knocked over. Uh, Skylos. <gasps> my heart. My heart won't stop pounding. I can't do this like this. I can't calm down. Um, I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it? Yuri suddenly pressed my hand against her chest. What, what, what are we doing? This is, this is, why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> she got the dance paper. Oh, my God. Ghosty fruit. Thank you for the soup. I'm like, that's fucking creepy as shit. <laughs> I need an adult. Can you stop? Can, 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 can you stop? <gasps> oh, fucking bitch. What beautiful eyes you have, bro. Oh my fucking... That's so scary, dude. Um, it's time to share poems. I don't want to share shit right now, Monica. We're in... We're in what? Thank you, Nihil. Thank you for the super. Mwah. Get you a girl that looks at you like Yuri does. A320 pilot? I can't right now. Oh my god. Thank you, A320 pilot. Thank you for the super. Mwah. I'm scared to pick her. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Um. Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? Skyros, this one might even be better than yesterday's. Yuri isn't coming on strong enough for my personal opinion. Oh my god. Just shared Haru. I didn't even get to read it. Something you win, sometimes you lose. I thought you were going to touch a booba, but all you got was uncomfortable. I was like, what's going on, brah? We are in a high school. What's going on? Thank you, froggy friend. Thank you for the super baby. Mwah. Good night, Juan George. Good night, baby. Thank you for coming. Mwah. Um, how did you even pick up on this so quickly? Is she your, is she still your favorite? I don't know. Right now, my favorite is Sayori and will ever forever be Sayori. More like, get a girl who smiles at you like Monica. I would rather chop off my left foot in Sims 4 in Minecraft. Thank you, Kitsune Forest. Thank you for the super. Mwah! Just yesterday, I was telling you that kind of technique worth practicing. You guys are gaslighting me. Maybe that's why you did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try and give it more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Who? A320 pilot. I swear to fucking God, do not fuck with my brain like this. Do not fuck with my brain right now, A320 pilot. Thank you for the super baby. Mwah. Even her hands appear sweaty. Knees weak. Arms are heavy. He's nervous. Tripping not a sweater. Mom spaghetti. She's nervous. Ah. That makes me so happy. It's so amazing to feel like I'm valid, Scar valued, Scarlos. Ah! Sorry. Everything everything you write is a treasure to me. My heart pounds just holding it. <laughs> I wanted to write a poem about this feeling. Is that bad? I'm not being weird, right? I'm having a harder time than usual at concealing my emotions. I'm kind of embarrassed. But right now, I just want you to read my poem too. Okay? I guess. 
Oh, hello, Kaizaki Arata. Thank you so much for joining the apprenticeship. Mwah! I'm so happy to have you as one of my magic helpers. Mwah! Wheel. Okay. Brrr, a, rotating, a, rotating, a rotating wheel, turning an axe, grinding, bald, 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 bald head, linear gear box. I can't read this. Falling sky, heaven, heaven, seven holy stake, a docked ship, a portal to another world, a thin rope to a thick rope, a torn harness, parabolic gear box. I can't read any of this. Expanding universe, time controlled by slipper ring ego, ego, what? Cog wheels, existence of God, S swimming with open water in all directions, drowning, a prayer within the blood, a prayer written in the time devouring snakes with human eyes, a thread connecting all living human's eyes, a kaleidoscope, kaleidoscope of hole in snakes. I can't read this shit. Why are there stains on the poem? There's stains on the poem. I did not notice that. Thank you, Banglog. Thank you for the zoo button. Mwah. I did not notice. Holy shit. I, I did not notice there were stains on the poem. Um. <laughs> a, a sky of exploding stars. God is disproving the existence of God. A wheel rotating in six dimensions. Five, 40 gears and a ticking clock. A clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet. I can't read. A clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks every second time. A bother to holy stakes tied to the existence of a docked ship to another world. A kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks. A dime devouring praying connecting a sky to a 40 gears of open human eyes in all directions. Breathing gear box breathing bot bottle head. I don't know what this fucking says. Hello Jonas. Thank you so much for the super baby. Mwah. I'm so happy to have you as one of my magic helpers. Thank you baby. Mwah. All time devouring prayer connecting a sky of 40 gears and open human eyes in all directions breathing gear box breathing bot head breathing ship breathing portal breathing snakes breathing god breathing blood breathing holy stakes breathing human eyes breathing time breathing prayer breathing sky breathing wheels done thank god that took her fucking ever <laughs> it doesn't really matter what it's about my mind has been a little hyperactive lately so i had to take it out in the pen uh <gasps> Yeah, that is. A, a pen fell out of my back of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping. And I, um... What? I just really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it. Um! Um? And now you're touching it. <laughs> I'm scared. Uh, I'm okay. Uh, what did I just, um... Uh, Wait, I'm scared. Uh, can we pretend that this conversation never happened? I'm... Wait, what did she do with the pen? Wait, what did she do with the pen? Uh, you can keep the poem, though. Um, what... I'm very confused. Wash your hands. Wait, what? I'm very confused. <clears throat> pen could got violated. Chrome. Thank you for the soup. Mwah. It's just a pen. But what did they do with the pen? But what did she do with the pen is the question. <clears throat> yeah, just as I thought. Hmm? Come on. I'm not stupid. I know how many times you've been spending with Yudi. It's obvious that you care more about impressing her than trying to improve your writing. So to put it bluntly, it's kind of pathetic. Why are you even in this club? Honestly, I thought getting a new member would help everyone get more involved together. Not exclude at each other even more. What people usually do with pens, right? I'm scared. Hi, hi, scared. I'm Victor. Also, rap cover when never. I'm not a rapper. Thank you, Victor Ace. Thank you for the super baby. Mwah. That explains the stains. I'm so fucking confused. Thank you, Banglog. Thank you for the super. Mwah. Not exclude each other even more. This is such a stupid activity anyway. Look, I'm not in a good mood today, and I just really don't feel like talking right now. Please go away. Um, okay. Last is Monica. Oh, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. 
It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend that much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But, when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts... With a pocket knife? Monica's a queen, get off me. Kerr, oh my god. Monica is the only good one. I wish I could look into her eyes while I, while I caress her cheeks. Just wondering who would lean in and kiss first. Boomer, wow, I don't know why you want this. You know, there is many fish in the sea. You know, like, you know, if you wanted a baddie, we can go get a baddie. You don't need this one right here. This one is nothing but trouble, Boomer, wow. Thank you for the super. Mwah. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. Now what the fuck do you think it is? I think it's- I think she just gets some kind of high from it. I love her Monica or Yuri. I might even be like a- <laughs> It might even be a sharma thing. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I didn't do shit, bitch. I'm not saying it's your fault, though. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend more time with me. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in my head, and I know how to treat my club members. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? Not really. I like the other, I like the way this one turned out. So I hope you do too. Monica is great even if she's keeping you at the right track. What a queen. No, Kurt. No. There's no one. There's no other fish. Just Monica. Just Monica. Deep fried Fred. I swear to God. Thank you for the soup. Mwah. Monica, my toxic enemy girl. Have heart and wallet. Get set it for us. No. <sighs> Hello, Kalista. Thank you so much for joining the apprenticeship. Mwah! I'm so happy to have you as one of my magic helpers. Mwah! Save me the doors. They won't wrap beep colors. I can't read flashing, b b b piercing, green, red, green, blue, and endless. The, this is an incomplete cassophony of meaningless noise. The noise won't stop. Violin grating. I can't read to summon king, queen, piercing, sin, cosine, tangent, like playing a chalkboard to a tarantula, like a play. I can't read anything. Like a play or a knife on a breath what this is unreadable what a wordsmith delete who what Huh? Huh? <gasps> I'm scared. Sorry, I know it's a bit abstract. I'm just trying to, um... Press delete on my keyboard? Are you trolling me? Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, she could delete me any day. Kurt, no. This is not the baddie you want in this world. No. Here's Monica's tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Well, I guess we're saving now. Okay. You never know when, um... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Mm. Uh, no. Tell me you can hear me. Um, anything. N no, no, I can't. Monica, you're really scaring me right now. Ah! Ah! Help me, please. Um. Queen, no, Kurt. Huh, that's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. I, I, I don't want to read it. I, I, I don't want to read it. Huh. How should I read this one? 
should I wrap this one or should I read it like Siri or TikTok? These are the choices. This is, this is creeping me the fuck out, bro. Oh, God. Rap, okay. I can't rap, though. It still sounds cringy. Um, I'll read half of it. Okay, half of it, Siri. Wait, Natsuki voice. Wait, why Natsuki voice? I'll divide it into three. Uh, hello, Gorgon Ramsey. Thank you so much for joining the apprenticeship. Mwah! I'm so happy to have you as one of my magic helpers. Do it, MLB. So, um, so, um, oh, okay there. Hi, my name is Twilight Sparkle. I can't do it. No, hey there. Hi, I'm Rainbow Dash. I can't. No. Doing it deep work. <laughs> um, so, um, so, things I like about Papa. I like when Papa comes home early. I like when Papa cooks me dinner. I like it when Papa gives me allowance. I like it when Papa spends time with me. I like it when Papa asks me about my friends. I like when Papa asks me about anything. I like when my Papa gives me lunch money. I like when my Papa comes home from before sundown. I like when my Papa cooks. I like when my Papa... I like when my Papa gives me privacy. I like when my Papa doesn't tell me how to dress. I love when my Papa doesn't comment on my friends. I like when my Papa doesn't come on my hobbies. I don't know how to read. I like when my Papa comes home without making me up. I like when my Papa keeps the food in the house. I like when my Papa uses a hidden voice. What? I like when Papa uses his inside voice. Okay. I like when Papa leaves my stuff alone. I like when Papa accidentally drops coins in the couch. I like when Papa is too tired to notice me. I like when Papa is too tired for anything. Interesting. I like when Papa is too tired for anything. That's great. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today. So, if everyone could come sit in the front room. I can't read. Is, uh, <clears throat> is this about the festival? Well, sort of. <sighs> do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in a few days. Well, it, it's just embarrassing ourselves instead of getting anything, any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well at last minute preparations. Oh, don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since Scarlet's joined, and we've started with some club activities. But this isn't the first, but I can't read. But this isn't the first time for us to be complacent. Monica has the cake and the cake is a lie. The cake is a lie. Thank you, Arbiter117. Thank you for the super baby. Mwah. We still only have four members. And this festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so, what's so great about finding new members anyway? We already have enough people to be considered an official club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and difficult to manage. Natsuki, I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't worry about... Don't you... But, but, huh, I can't read. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as possible? I, I can't read as much as you can. To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you in here in the first place. The literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can, can't do anywhere else. I can't read. Um... It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Scarlos? Uh... Oh, come on. You can't take advice from Scarlos to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica. Do you really think any of us really, I can't read. Do you really think any of us joined here at the club without with other people in mind? Yudi never even talked until Scarlos joined. And as for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Scarlos isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you really, you're, I can't read, but you're really the only one who's interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you really should consider our opinions first, for once. <gasps> Aw, she's so sad. Monica, Monica is clearly taken aback by what Bynowski's words. That's not true at all. 
Yes, queen, giving us nothing. Kerr, oh my god. Dang. Anna, oh my god, Chrome. I'm sure Yuri and Scarlos want to get some more members, too. Right? Um. I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue the situation... Um... No! Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club... It's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out! Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way as I did? But, but that doesn't mean that we're all against getting new members or anything. Scarlos, why did you even join this club? Why were you hoping to get out of it? Uh, well... It's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even gonna- You weren't even given a chance not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Oh, now, now you've done it, Natsuki. What? Me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? Uh, it's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. Oh, Monica. Don't- you don't understand it all. I, I just- I just want a place that feels like a hangout with friends. Is there a problem with the club being that like that for me? There- there aren't- there aren't many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. Uh, she's not taking it away. N no, Scarlos. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. What if- what if- what if that's- then I could have just other stupid- I can't read. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one... I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Aw, Natsuki started packing her things. I can't read. Thanks, Monica! Thanks, Mo- Hi, Monica! I know I can't read. Thank you, Monica. Thank you for the super. Thank you. Mwah. Monica, please don't cr crash my Wi-Fi. Thank you. Mwah. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki... Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. Hey, Monica, call me Jonathan! Fucking put your credit card down! Um, this is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have any opinion on the festival? I, I don't. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. <laughs> but who cares about that obnoxious brat? Uh. I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. That scared the shit out of me, dude. And I'm just happy with, with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. <laughs> but nobody would cry if she killed herself. <gasps> Yuri! Oh, shit! You want the heart monitor? I I'm, The new one came in! The new one arrived! Let me open it. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Scarlos? What do you want to get out of this club? Sayuri sounds like an off-brand generic Yuri. Oh my god, A320 pilot. I swear to fucking god. Thank you, A320 pilot. Thank you for the super. Mwah. Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decide to give an indirect answer. Is better than nothing. Uh, I think it's- I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. Um, and for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. And I- I don't think about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what I will end up making the literature club a special place. Mm. Uh, I see. Mm, okay. Sorry, I'm trying to take the tape off of this. No, yeah, I said it I said it broke in a previous stream. Like it would work sometimes, but then sometimes it would yeah, it would just be stuck on a, a number. 
So I finally just said fuck it and I bought another I bought another one. Uh, I agree with you. Each member contributes their own quality in a special way. You broke the heart monitor? No. I totally didn't get water on it for when I got water on my keyboard. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Everyone's crazy. Sayori, Yuri, Natsuki, and Monica are all best. Also, thanks, Ian, for playing this game. The replayability is eh, but it's only it's the best game I've ever played so far. Like, see, I'm surprised I've never played it before. Thank you, Ghostifa. Thank you for the super. I just noticed her fucking eye. Why is her... Why is... How do you spill water on everything? I don't know. Why... Why is her eye bleeding? Uh, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to help with Monica at the festival, then I'm on your side. Uh, alright. Monica has invaded our minds. It's happening again. The world of Monica is a cruel world. Way to find what really happens to these children. I'm so scared, brat. Thank you, Arbiter117. Thank you for the Zupa. Mwah. Oh, Jeebers. Hold on a second. Oh, shiz pickles. Oh, shiz pickles. Thank you, Arbiter117. Thank you for the Zupa, baby. Mwah. Um, let me see. Okay. Let me... I'm just fixing my phone so it doesn't fuck up on me. Okay, let me see. Okay. Bluetooth. Now let's hope it finds it. Okay, night Scarlet, love you, love you, night chat, love you. Ah, thank you, physical brook. I love you. Mwah! Thank you for hanging. Okay, come on, work. I hope it works. I'm gonna have to figure out how to set this again. Oh, hold on, I think I fucked up. Wait, hold on. Have a good night, physical brute. Thank you so much for the soup and thank you for hanging with us. Mwah! Well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Eh? Um, I know things are a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you, you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also, a wonderful friend. Aww, they're being cute and shit now. Uh, Monica... I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Oh, uh, shit. Okay. Uh, me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. I'm scared. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Uh, okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Skylos? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but... What? I'm going to chat a bit with Scarlos before we leave. Huh? Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. Okay. It's important to me as president. Okay. <laughs> Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Yuri very- Yuri better VP than what's her name would be- Oh my god, A320 pilot, I swear to god. Thank you for the super baby. Mwah. Okay. I'm putting on the heart monitor. Hopefully this one works. Unlike the other one, because I totally did not get water on it. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I trust your judgment, Monica. Let's see if it works. Shit. Trying to wrap it around me. Hi! Uh... Hmm. Okay. Let me try the thing again. Hmm. It's waiting. Okay, I got it. Now let me put 
heart. Where are you? Browser. I totally forgot what this was. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a browser sore. Where is my heart? Oh no. Oh no, I forgot. Hold on. I forgot though. Uh, just put in the washing machine now. It's this one. It's pulsoid. Dashboard. And it's on. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me just get the widget. And then we're good. Copy. Okay, so then we need heart. OBS. There is my heart! See, now we have heart monitor again. There you go. I fixed it. Hooray! Okay. Yeah, yeah! And now it's not broken. I trust your judgment, Monica. I'm scared. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. I trust nothing that comes out of these people. Broken heart monitor must be why Scarlet's heart is ra heart rate's racing, right? Definitely not because Monica and Yuri are scary. Haha, <laughs> hug me. I'm scared. I know. Thank you, Katsu Fugetsu. Thank you for the super baby. Mwah. Oh my god. Ha, <laughs> see you tomorrow. I don't want to see you. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew. Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Scarlet, I just wanted to make sure that you're enjoying your time at this club. Did I, I get your heart monitor wet, Scarlet? Is that another one? Is that another one? What's happening to the screen? Um, thank you, Monica. Thank you for the super. Monica, can you please tell me what's like going on right now? <sighs> I would really hate to see you unhappy. I kind of feel like I'm responsible for that as president. I really don't... I, uh, why is there a fake Monica here? Monica, help me, Monica. What's going on? Why is there so many Monicas here? Ah! Oh, and I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing other girls give you a hard time. With, with how mean Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri being a bit, you know. <laughs> Sometimes, it feels like you and I are the only real people here. I care about you too, Monica. Kurt, no. You know what I mean? No. What do you mean by that? But it's weird, because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Ah, uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. Are, there are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know y only you could understand. So that's why... Wait, not yet! No! Back off, you faker. She's my sweetheart. Monica, what's going on, baby? Monica, thank you for the soup. But Monica, help me. Monica. Um, 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 broken. Um, 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 agonizing. Um, desire. Big words. Incongruent. Anxiety. Unending. Word. Disarray. Inferno. Tenacious. Uh... Tears, graveyard, contamination, grief. What was, did you, did something pop under here or am I crazy? Misery, shame. Oh, was that Monica? I saw a little thing at the bottom. Am I crazy? Melancholic. Um, frightening. Unrestrained. 
Hi, Scarlos. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? No. I brought my best tea today. Uh, Monica, I told you, I told you not to. <laughs> would the real Monica, would the real Monica please stand up? Thank you, Brandix. Thank you for the Zumba. Mwah. Is she really late again? And consider it as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your insistent yelling? What are you talking about? You you say that like I do on a regular basis or something. I, I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Me? <laughs> Nothing? Uh, is it really that bad? Uh, see, it is something. Uh, I'll get over it. The real Monica does not stand. Others bow before me. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, damn. Oh, you need some Neil Spomer for that burn. Oh, shit. Monica, thank you for the Zumba, baby. Holy fuck. Mwah. Thank you, Monica, honey. Thank you for the Zumba. It's not even anything noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. They spit and they spit in fire, homie. Anyway, we don't need to talk about it. Well, um, I just feel like I needed to bring it up. It, it's not like I really care or anything. Oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Uh, well, Scarlos just walked in, too. You were practicing piano again? Yeah. I, I, I don't believe that. For some reason. You must be, have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival and... Um... Right. I, I forgot. Uh, um, what about Natsuki? Uh, we were all talking yesterday and... Well, we decided that we would all like to support the festival as well. However, I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all feel... I can't read. I think we all kind of feel the same. So as long as we're all working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Hmm. Um, also, if you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. <laughs> oh, that got her. <laughs> Sorry, uh, that last part was really funny. Look, I, I did something about yesterday. I was a little bit more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. Uh, but I, I know this is something we're doing together. Uh, another member wouldn't hurt as, as long as they're cool. A and I guess another girl would be nice at this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know? So I'm going to help too, and I'll make sure it's done right. Oh, thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Huh? Uh, yeah, that's wonderful. Why does she look sad? It wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could. I are, We already have plans today. Ah, is that so? That's correct. Skylos and I... Scarless is already engaged in the novel that we're reading together. She's Monica. She's Monica. You're Monica. I'm Monica. She's Monica. She's Monica. You're Monica. I'm Monica. Are there any other Monicas I should know about? Thank you, Kacho Fugetsu. Thank you so much for the super baby. Mm. Aren't you glad I haven't got... I, I can't read. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I, um... I suppose... I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. I, it really doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I can't read Scarlet 2022. Thank you, Rajazakea. Thank you for the soap. Mwah. You guys can do whatever you want. Uh, yes. Uh, right there. Right there. What was that? What was that? Uh, Yuri? Yuri? Um, thanks for your understanding, Monica. Monica, a snail? Oh my god, JT, thank you for the soup. Mwah. Actually, I have a request. 
Do you mind if we make some tea first? Uh, not at all. Wait, no! No! I'm going with you! You're not going again by yourself! Oh, no, no, no! You are not going alone! No, no, no! Thanks very much. If there's one thing that I can make me... I can't read. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better is a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way for the closet. You better. I follow and watch her retrieve a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with the filter inside. Uh, can you hold this for a second? Uh, sure. Yuri hands me a water pitcher and fetches a water a electric kettle. I'm going to plug it in, in the teacher's desk, and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down at the teacher's desk. Meow, Nicole, my god star. I thank you for the sleep, of baby. Mwah. Um, I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts with her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodic. Okay. May I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. I might as well walk with you. Uh, that's okay. Mm -hmm. You stay here. Are you going to do things again? It won't take long. That's what happened last time. Pitcher in hand, her, her, her Yudi hurries out of the classroom. That was awful, I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay, Stara. No, it wasn't. It was great. Thank you for the super, Stara. Mwah. Stay away from her. Save me, Scarlet. Sayori, Sayori, baby! Sayori, are you okay? Sayori! Thank you for the super, baby. Mwah. Ask you, doctor, about method methodic today. Okay, Boomer. Wow. Thank you for the super. Mwah. Picture in hand, you hear the classroom. I don't trust this bitch. I don't trust this bitch. Who? A through 20 pilot. I swear to fucking God. Thank you for the super. Mwah. Huh. Did Yuri leave again? No, it's not like last time. She's just filling the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for the misunderstanding. She's taking forever. Ten minutes passed. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? Please. Oh my god. I'm bored just walking so I'll decide to look for her. Are you spoiling Niji at 7 who say, Oh my god, Envy Mizuhashi. Thank you for the super baby. Mwah. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be is near the water fountain. Start heading down the hallway. Oh fucking god. No. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. Ma, fucking Yuri, please. Yuri, please. A sharp inhale is someone's, someone is sucking there through their teeth. Scarlet, there wasn't a Supa with a name, Sayori. Are you okay? Oh my god, Sky 6 to 27. Thank you for the Supa. Yes, there was. Mwah. I'm back on the ceiling, Sayori. I'm working here. Monica! Monica! Oh my god! Thank you, Monica. <coughs> no. <coughs> Thank you for the Supa. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? No! How did I? Sorry, I, I just had a really weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before or anything. Welp. My head has been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it, it hasn't really been showing or anything. It w I would have hated it to think I'm weird. I can't read. Oh, hello. Oh, Taka, hello. I missed this game. I hope you're having a great time. Hello, Taka-senpai. Hello. Hi, Taka. Thank you for stopping by. Ah, Hello, Taka. Hi, Taka-senpai. Ah! This game is crazy, and I'm scared. Thank you for stopping by, Taka. Oh, my God. Mm. Oh, my jeepers. <sighs> <sighs> this game is crazy. Um, Yuri doing the WWE Undertaker impression. Please, Frantics. 
please. Thank you, Frantix. Thank you for the Zumba. Mwah. <clears throat> I would hate for you to think I'm weird just after we started spending time together. I mean, everyone has a few unusual things about them. But expressing those things so out soon after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable. At least that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come home really strong and get a little too intense. It made people not want to be around me. Holy crust, purge thy demons and avert from thy demons. Oh my god. Thank you, Banglog. Thank you for the Zuba. <sighs> so, I started hating those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies. And the way I can't control myself. Oh, hold on. I forgot to mod Taka. You are now mod! Yay! Okay. And the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So, I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody would ever like me for the things that matter the most for me, then it's just easier if I close myself off. But recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is. But every time we come to the club room, my heart starts to go crazy. You can fix her? No, I cannot. Like, it's going to rip out of my chest. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening. Skylos? Is it me, or has Monica been acting a little off lately? She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. But recently, I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Oh my god. Please tell me I'm not. I couldn't say anything before because she was listening. But finally, we're alone. Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah. <laughs> I just want to stay here. Just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends. And then, we'll have the club room to ourselves. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Nobody to make us feel like stabbing myself in the throat. <laughs> that, that was a joke. It's just a joke. I am terrified! Uh, do you- I do like knives, though. It- it sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you never seen how beautiful they can be. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. Monica there is freaking me the fuck out. Just Monica, just Monica, no Arbiter 117, thank you for the soup, but no! Mwah. I've gotten them all, and I can't read. I've gotten them all in various artisans. No, you, no knife collection. Hello, Yuri, Monica, please stop! Monica, stop! Monica, stop it! Thank you, Monica, thank you for the soup, but please! Monica, please! Stop! Uh, I make sure to give them all the fair you share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the Literature Club. Now we don't need to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. She likes knives too. Yuri's based. Oh my god. Thank you, A320 Pilot. Thank you for the suba. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the Literature Club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. That's not to mention the other pathetic child. We can walk home together every day after school and read together, eat together, sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? As it's everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you joined the Literature Club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. It fate that we would meet each other. And now we get the happy ending that I patiently waited for you. With all that, I can't read. I can't read. Jeez, you really need to cut it out, Monica, please. Thank you for the super, Monica. Monica, go the fuck away, bitch. Go the fuck away. With... <laughs> Finally, ha 
Yeti holds my palm to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love every bit of everything about it. You wanna, wanna take this home? I can't read. Will you let me keep it? Please? Uh, sure. I don't care. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, there's a- there's three fucking Monica's in here. What's wrong, Scarlet? Just Monica, right, Monica? I appreciate it, baby. Thank you, Monica. Thank you for the sofa. But why are there three Monica's in my chat? Man, high school life hit flooded. Oh my god, Chimo D. Crockett. Thank you for the super baby. You're too nice. I <clears throat> You're too nice to me. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be... It's okay to be feeling this way, right? Is that... Yeah. Yeah. It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem in her chest. I'm going to take it home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when I think about when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch. <laughs> what? Uh, excuse me, what? A lot of Monica's, but only one Yui. Oh my god, A320 pilot. Yes, only one. Thank you for the super. Mwah. Hey, yo, what? I'll give. Yuri? You can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Um. When you speak a little loud. Okay. Sorry. It's. Uh, yeah, I'll try. Here, take it. I, I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. I literally can't read it. What? I can't... I literally can't read it. <laughs> Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell the poem is about... Blah, 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 blah. Is this the yellow stain? Bang long? Bang long? I don't want to know. Oh my god. More importantly, I've endowed it into my scent. Oh, she must love ketchup. I know, right? Cyborg, thank you for the super baby. I know, she must love ketchup. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? <laughs> Jesus, shit. Are you ready? No, I'm not, Arbiter117. Thank you for the super. Mwah. No, I am not ready. Haha. <laughs> I, I, I think I'm going to vomit. Are you okay? What? You gave your poem to Yui? To Yuri? Gross. What is with you two? <laughs> it's not like I wanted to read it or anything. It's just pissing me off a bit that you didn't even think to show me at, at all. Now it's just Monica time. God, I'm scared. Thank you, Donna. Thank you for the Zuba. Mwah. Ugh. Okay, I guess I'm going to share my poem with you anyways. I really hate that I have to do this. But unfortunately, I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? Then you can go away. Um, I don't know. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri, Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been, is this a note to me? Hold on. You've been, you've only been here a few days, so you might not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive. Things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her, but if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but she tried to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happen. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please, if you can't do something to help her, I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's really dismissive about this. It's like she wants us to ignore it, so I'm mad at her right now. And that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading this. Holy fuck, what is going on? 
Oh, Natsuki, you silly. You need a break. Hi, Monica. Thank you for the super. Uh, I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There is no point in trying to do anything. Natsuki Supremacy. Thank you, Kuno. Thank you for the super, baby. Mwah. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Scarlos? If you would spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just like Monica from now on. Just Monica. Oh my god, I'm scared. Yuri, save me, please. Natsuki, hi. Natsuki, thank you for the super. Just Monica. Oh my god. Thank you, Kyosha. Thank you for the super. Just Monica. I fucking guess so. Huh? Hello? What? Hi, Kunia VS. Thank you for the soup, but just Monica. Mwah. I'm confused. Don't say I didn't warn you. Just Monica. Hi, Monica. There's a four. Thank you, Monica, for the super. Just Monica. Thank you, Frantic. Thank you for the super. What do I do? Do I do yes or no? Does it matter? Oh, just Monica. So. Um. <laughs> what? Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Hi, Monica. Just Monica. Thank you, Monica, for the super. How many are you are in here? Doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Hi, Alejandra. Oh my god, I'm scared. Oh, <sighs> let's hurry and get this over with. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Hmm. Um, look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh, um, stagnating air is common foreshadowing, so something terrible is going to happen. Look, we can just, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, I was thinking. I want to make cupcakes. Yes, that's it. Glad we're on the same page. Yuri can. Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it'll help. Uh, Monica? Uh, I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. I can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. Ha, oh, there, see? That's a great idea! And that gives us all something to do. Eh? What about Skylos? Skylos is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, what, your cupcakes? Please. <laughs> like you, like, like you would fucking know. Ooh, she cussing, baby. All you care about now is dragging Scarlet around with you in your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Scarlet decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, yes you are, Monica. Just let Skylos make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Skylos, I know how fed up you are with these two are firing now. Can we can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. Ooh, Yuri, come at Yuri! Shut, you shut your mouth. Jesus Christ! This is never going to end. Make your choice, okay? God damn. 
Thanks, Gar, for the fun stream. I gotta head out now, but I'm glad to be able to watch part of the stream on my birthday. <gasps> Tyler, happy birthday, baby. Aw, thank you, Tyler. Stop giving me supers on your birthday, you guys. Hi, Tyler. Ha I hope you have a great birthday, baby. Thank you so much for coming, and thank you for the super. I hope you have a great birthday, honey. Mwah. Okay. Should it, does, does it matter? Choose Yuri, I dare you. Um... Does it matter? Just not Monica? I mean, we were trying to go. I'll just do. What the fuck? Hold on. That's weird. I'll show my cursor. Wait. Hold on. Capture cursor. You can't see my cursor for some reason. Why? What the fuck? Hello? Hello? Choose me, girls. Hi, Sa hi, Sayori. Hi, baby. Thank you for the super, Sayori. What the? What the fuck? Motherfucker! What just happened? Can I go back? Bro, I, I, I... Did I fucking do that? Oh my god. Yeah, you picked me! I did not mean to! Did you save? No. Don't worry, Scarlet. You're enough Yuri. Oh my god. I'm enough Yuri for you. Thank you, Monica. Thank you for the super. And another Monica. Silly Scarlet. You think you are in control? I thought so, Monica. Thank you, Monica. And thank you, Monica. Thank you. Another Monica! Oh my god! The only option is Monica. Just Monica. Well, thank you, Monica and Monica and Monica. Thank you all for the supers. Holy shit. Thank you. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. I didn't mean to. No, it's not fair. Giving us all the work and then taking Skylos for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable. <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Skylos away from me every single time you're not including in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself as much as you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? <gasps> Yuri! It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little bit. Natsuki, let it go. I, I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that's that wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Isn't that so much to ask? I am... Oh, my God. Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. A little bit of Monica in my life. A little bit of Monica by your side. A little bit of Monica. All you need, Froggy Fran. I do not need Monica. I need fucking Jeebus right now. Thank you, Froggy Fran. Thank you for the super. Mwah. Hello. Hi. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally. Finally. This is really all I wanted. Skylos, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come with to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> well, there's something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. 
Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But if it feels good, then why don't it doesn't feel more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first, but the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Skylos. I have to tell you, I'm- I'm madly in love with you! It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of my blood in me is screaming your name. That is fucking creepy, bitch. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica's listening. Please, Carlos, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even... Ew? Ew? That is disgusting. I just want to pull your skin apart and crawl inside of you. I want you all to myself. And I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Scarlos. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Do we accept it or not? Thank you, Ketchel Fugetsu. Thank you for the supa. Thank you, Sayori. Thank you for the supa. Monica, why are you laughing? I think I'm sorry. I can't hide anymore. I can lose control. I think I like it. Oh my god. Thank you, Ketchel Fugetsu. Thank you for the supa. You couldn't save her? You couldn't save me? Why, Sayori? I'm sorry. Thank you for the supa. Monica, thank you for the supa. Cyborg again. Thank you for the supa. What just happened? That's a lot of ketchup. Fucking cur, I swear to god. Looks like class was cut short. Oh my god, rabbit. Thank you for the soup. But our bitter 117. Why are you guys giving me supas right now? Thank you, our bitter 117. Thank you for the soup. But this game is a real slice of like bang long. Thank you for the soup. But lie down, cry and try not to cry. Cry a lot. Oh my god, Kunia. Thank you for the soup. Damn, she really. Oh my god, this devil confession. Thank you, Froggy Fran. Thank you for the soup. Alejandro, thank you for that. Alejandro Villas, thank you for the soup. Oh my god. I guess you already did not make the A320 pilot, please. Thank you for the Supa. What just happened? You sound so broken. Want to write a poem? Absolutely not. Thank you, Shoji Tenken. Thank you for the Supa. You know who won't need it? Kurt. Oh my. F Kurt, stop it. Kurt, stop. I always knew Yuri was. Job dead gorgeous. Jazz, this is not the time. Thank you, Jazz. Thank you for the Zupa. Tis a flesh wound, Gord, gone, Ramsey. Please, thank you for the Zupa. Fine, I will cut it out. A320 pilot, I swear to fucking God. Thank you for the Zupa. What happened? Is there like a translation of this? Does anyone know if there's like a translation of this? Look at history. <gasps> Welcome to the literature club. I've always been a dream of mine to make something special out of these things I love. Now that you're a club member, you can help me make that dream come true in this cute game. Every day is full of chit chat. And oh, this is the game description. That's weird. Um. This is crazy. Oh, this is the- it's literally the Steam description. That convention really cut deep. Fucking God, Scarlet. Thank you for the super, baby. Mwah. Wait, how long is it? Because I don't want to miss anything. Or we'll auto it. I 
I, I guess no auto. Wait, three days? Two days? Have you tried to soup? It's good for your mental health. Oh my god. Thank you, Kacho Fugetsu. Thank you for the soup. It's actually two days long. Wait, really? Like, legit? Like, legit, though. Oh, okay. Holy shit balls. Oh, it is. Oh, two days? Do we just stay in there with her? Silly Skyla, why not try taking a stab at Skip? I am now. Thank you, Monica. Thank you for the soup. Holy fuck. This is scary. This is actually really scary. Alright, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me. I th <gasps> Huh? Oh. Oh, oh, God. It, 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 oh, ew, ew, ew. Oh, that was a lot. Nope. Mm -mm, I don't do that shit. Oh, ew. Uh, uh, uh. Spum jump it two days later. Oh, my God. Thank you, Gorgon Ramsey. Thank you for the soup. Oh, ew, 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 ew. 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 That was fucking nasty. Monica. I'm here. Sk Ow, oh, my eyes. Sorry, my eyes. Hold on. Ow. Skylos, did something happen? Natsuki ran past me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Well, that's a shame. Are you fucking shaming right now? What do you mean? Wait, were you here this entire weekend? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize that script was broken up. What do you mean? What do you mean? I'm super sorry. I must have been, it must have been pretty boring. Love is like war. Easy to begin, but hard to stop. Monica, please. Thank you, Monica. Thank you for the soup. Mwah. I'll make it up to you, okay? I think we need to talk about our relationship, Monica. It's not you, it was me. Thank you for the super baby. Mwah. Just give me a sec. <gasps> oh my fucking god almost done i just want to have the cupcakes real quick monica lifts the foil seriously these are the best seriously these are the best don't worry scarlet everything's fine just me remember only i can help you Let's clean this up. Monica, I, I don't want to clean this up. Monica, can, can we just go? Can, can we like go home? Thank you, Monica. Thank you for the soup. Mwah. Just notice me and don't look behind you. Monica, stop it. You're scaring me. Don't tell me to look, not look behind me because I'm going to look. Because I'm going to look. Thank you, Monica. Thank you for the soup. Mwah. Why are there so many Monicas in my chat right now? I really just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't make you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Hello? What, what is, what is, what, 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 what's happening? Ah, uh, can you hear me? Is it working? <laughs> Yay! There you are! Hi again! Um, welcome to the Literature Club! Of course, we already know each other. 
because we were in the classroom, because we were in the same classroom last year. And, um, <laughs> No, Kurt, not your girl. You know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you, in the game, whatever you call to him, I'm talking to you. Carlos, I'm, I'm scared. Just Monica are Astray, I'm scared. Astray, hold me. Thank you, Astray. Thank you for the soup. And thank you for being a part of the apprenticeship for two months. Mwah. Now it's just us, not you two with the same fucking picture, Monica. You got me fucked up, bitch. You got me fucked up right now. Thank you, Monica. Thank you for the soup. But like, please don't kill me. We love you, girls. Monica, please. <laughs> Thank you, Monica. Thank you for the super emotional support. I hope you all. Oh, I'm scared. Thank you, slow hand DNP. Thank you for the super, baby. <sighs> oh my god. Okay. Now that I think about it, I really don't know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make much sense. Even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man, if only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little less awkward, you know? Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. Beautiful Monica Jonathan, I think the fuck not. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you for the super mwah. About that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started with her. Wait, what? Well, I kind of started to mess with her. I guess it drove her to kill herself. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm sorry you had to see that, though. <laughs> Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But, no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsession and personality backfired too. Obsessive, I don't remember. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And then the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this? Are all, I can't read. Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? I will read those supas. Give me a minute. It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind, and thoughtful, and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worse of all, knowing what's really out there, in our world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Scarlos. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autoimmunist personalities designed only to fall in love with you. 
I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But, it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but realized that you had the same perspective as I do. That it's just a game, and I knew you would get over it. So that being said, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You were- you- I can't read. You are truly the light in my world. When there is nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Skylos, will you go out with me? I mean, I- I- I guess I- I don't have a- I- 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 I guess I don't have a choice. I'm so happy! You really are my everything. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make my own. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called Characters right in the game directory. It's kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. To get to the game directory, I had to go through the game's properties to find the Browse Local File button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. What? Um. Wait, what, what are you guys... Wait, what are you guys trying to tell me to do? Sorry, I'll make sure to go back and read those supas, don't worry. Achievement unlocked, you finally got a girlfriend, but at what cost? I know, Froggy friend, thank you for the supa. Ah, uh, shit. Monica, so from one human to VTuber, want to play Smash Bros? Oh, okay, sure, Monica. Yeah, sure, how about next week? Um. Um. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if these things didn't go my way. Also, I'll make sure to read the supas, don't worry. Haha. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. You must delete her in the game files. Really? But I don't even know how to get there. Thank you, Arbiter117. Thank you for the supa. Hmm. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write po a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. Um, I guess there's only one way to browse- I can't read. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? She just told me- I don't know- Oh, the browse thing. Go to the actual game file? Is it like in Steam? Like, do I have to like go on to Steam? Yes, I know they are backseating, but okay, but like if I delete her file, is that for like the true ending or like a secret ending? Why spoil the game? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Oh, don't do it? Okay. I, I shall not. Uh, the hint is you stay forever. What does that even mean to you? Thank you for the soup. I'm not, don't read chat. Uh, okay. I, uh, I will not read chat. Mm. Mm. Okay. Do I need to put that backseat stop sign? Literally, I do the beedo, beedo, beedo. Okay. Okay. 
Oh god. I see why is she pretty though? Why is she pretty though? Oh my god. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you for the sneaky super. Mwah. Hi again. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Chat, no backseat. We will have something to talk about. We still have some talking to do. Listen to Monica. No backseat. Thank you for the super. Mwah. Potato, thank you, that son of a gun. Thank you for the super. Mwah. Okay, I'm not gonna read chat for a bit because I need to play this game. <laughs> Aw, Skylos. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. They really... I can't read. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Mm. Happy end. Pain in hand. I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by... I can't read. The courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel for our fantasies. With the flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. Hmm, not... okay. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. Um... That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall. I guess you could call it. You, you just did. I just assumed it would be the best part of the game. Like everything, like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend for our I can't believe it. Are you ready to spend our eternity together? I have so many things to talk about. Um, where do I start? Hold on a sec. You are recording this art. this aren't you um hi everyone sorry I can't exactly read your comments from here but do you mind telling your friend it's a bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning I'm sure some people don't mind but I get really self-conscious on camera <laughs> oh gosh I feel like I'm being put on the spot Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? What trick? I can't really do much except for a couple things. Are you ready? I, I, I don't know. Am I? Mm. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh shit, that scared the fuck out of me. Oh my god, what was happening? I can't do anything after all. If you get- ah! <laughs> Oh my god. Did I scare you? Yes! Yes, Monica! 
Yes, you did. Oh, shit, bitch. Oh, shit. <laughs> You're so cute. Anyway, Scarlos, I didn't mean to get distracted. I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun, as long as it's with you. <clears throat> but anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'm always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. I don't want to look in your eyes anymore. Do I do anything? <laughs> hey, you know that book you were reading with Yuri? Portrait of whatever it was called? It's funny because I'm pretty sure that book... Ah, actually, I don't think I should be talking about this. Huh, <laughs> sorry. Just forget I said anything. Uh, I'm scared. Mm. I'm scared. You guys. Mm. I don't know what to do. Huh. I wonder if I'm able to change the music. Something a little more romantic would be nice, you know? Like a gentle piano. There has to be something like that here. Let's see. Maybe if I... Oh, jeez. That wasn't it at all. Sorry, I don't really know what I'm doing. I guess I shouldn't be messing with things like that. I already broke so much stuff. And deleted the other characters. What? Ah, I'm not sad about it or anything. It's not right for me to miss things that weren't even real in the first place. If I just focus on the present, then this is the happiest I've ever been. Hmm. I'm kinda scared. Oh, hi, Aster. Thank you. Uh. Oh, baby. I'm so scared, dude. I'll make sure to read the supas later. Don't worry. Do I just stare at her? Hey. I wonder if Yuri's tea set is still somewhere in here. Or maybe that got deleted too. It's kind of funny how Yuri takes her tea so seriously. I mean, I'm not complaining because I liked it too. But I always wondered with her. Is it true passion for her hobbies or is it just concerned about appearing sophisticated to everyone else? This is the problem with high schoolers. Well, I guess considering the rest of her hobbies look sophisticated probably isn't her biggest concern. Huh. Still, I wish she made coffee for once in a while. Coffee can be nice with books too, you know? Then again, I probably could have had to just change the script myself. Hmm. I guess I never really thought of that. Well, there's no sense thinking about it now. If you still... I can't read. But if you still get to drink coffee, then that makes me a little jealous. Do, 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 do we just... Um... Hmm. 
Wait, so do you have to delete the game file? Your eyes are like a void. I want to get lost in forever. Oh my god, Monica. Thank you for the soup. Mwah. Okay. Let me save just in case. I don't know if it means anything. What? There's no point in saving anymore. Don't worry, I'm not going to... Okay. You're supposed to try and delete it? I don't even... Where do, where do I go again? Um... Um... Okay. Is it good ending if I delete the file? Don't be scared, Scarlet. I'm, I'm here. Have this. Thank you, slow hand. Thank you for the soup. But mwah. I have to go to Steam? Oh, there is no good ending. Only one ending. Okay, right click the game in Steam, manage, browse, location, and go to character folder. Okay. I've never went in the files. Doki doki. Properties. Wait, okay. Um, manage, browse, local files. Go to character. Holy shit, there is a Monica file in here. So we delete it? Scarlet, what are you doing? Why are you abandoning me? Don't you love me? Monica, thank you for the super baby. Listen, it's, I deleted it. It's not you, baby, it's me. It's not you, it's me. Thank you, Gali. If she, you close the game, she says more. How long do I want to stay here? <laughs> but thank you, Gali. We will three three. Thank you for the super, honey. Thank you, Monica, for the super. But it's not you. It's me. <laughs> oh shit! Okay. Um. Wait. Did my game crash? Wait, can you... Wait, can you guys still see me? Wait. The game looks different on my computer. What the... See, you see my mouse. But... That's so weird. Hold on, let, let me get a picture. That's so weird. Hold on. That's so weird. Yeah, on my screen it's glitching. Why? Restart the game? Wait, really? Yeah, I deleted Monica's... Hold on. Let me show you guys what's on my screen. That's... You need to capture the game again? That's so fucking weird. What? Okay. Um... Let me see... Yeah, see? That's so weird! Huh! That is very weird. <laughs> what's happening? Scarlet, what's happening to me? N nothing It hurts. Okay. It hurts so much. Uh, I'm not helping you, bitch. No, I'm not helping you. <laughs> Please hurry and help me. I don't think I will. What the fuck? Help me! No. Why'd you do that? I love you. Only Monica's girl. Only Monica. Why are you breaking my heart? I'm sorry, Monica. It's not you. It's me. And I have anxiety. Sorry. It's not personal, baby. Oh, fuck. Did you do this to me, Scarlos? 
did you? Did you delete me? <laughs> How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? I mean, maybe a little. Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind so you could hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be this horrible as you are. You literally drove people to kill themselves. I'm the bad one for just deleting your game file. You win, okay? You win. You killed ev- You killed everyone! The fuck? I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Wait, is that it? Scarlos? <clears throat> you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. It's not over till the credits roll. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends, I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done anything, any of this. I'm just messing up a world I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything you that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I've made up my mind. Scarlos, I know I had I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends, and I loved them all. And I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's only, it's the only way to, I can't read, for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... Well, why'd the music stop? Then... Ducky, ducky! The last act? Let me take a minute and read the supas I missed. Hold on. Should we keep going? Or should we... Wait. Last act is short. Let me make a poll really quick while I read some supas. Should we keep going we're on the last part should we keep going Kur ah damn i missed it it's okay bruh it's okay let me read some supas while that was on because i didn't want to read it during like the serious stuff okay let me see y'all are crazy bro what it's supposed to be like that oh, okay thank you shin i'm mamiya thank you for the supa I'm Gally, thank you for the super. Monica, thank you for the super. Don't be sad, Scarlet, we have this. Thank you, slow hand, thank you for the super. Your eyes are like a void. Thank you, Monica, thank you for the super. It's okay, it's terrifying. He's a hug. Thank you, Star, thank you for the super. Monica, thank you for the super. That's right, I know everything, Scarlet. I mean, good, good to know. Thank you. Thank you for the super, baby. Mwah. Frantics, hi, Monica, thank you, Frantics. Thank you for the super. Tsk, tsk. 
Thank you, Vane. Thank you for the super. Chat be like, VTuber, why do you push why? What? Thank you, Warren Choi. Thank you for the super. Mwah. I'm that son of a gun potato. Thank you for the super chat. No backseat. We still have some talking to do. Luckily, we made it through. Thank you, Monica, for the super. Jonathan, thank you for your sneaky super. Mwah. The hint is you stay forever. Oh, Nihil, thank you for the super. Must delete in the game folder. We did it, thank God. Thank you, Arbiter117. Thank you for the super. Monica, wait, before you mess that up, chat a little, please. Oh, okay. Monica, thank you for the super. Froggy friend, thank you for the super. Mwah. Skylar, protect me, I'm scared. Well, don't worry, Strawberry is over. Thank you for the super. Mwah. Star, you seem scared. You need a hug. Yes, Star, I do. Thank you for the super. Stay strong, boss. We got your back. Thank you, Metal Nia. Thank you for the super. Mwah. Beautiful Monica. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you for the super. Emotional support. Hope you're okay after all this. Oh, I am. Thank you, Slow Hand. Thank you for the super. Mwah. Monica, we love you, Scarlos. Thank you, Monica. Thank you for the super. Now it's just us. Thank you, Monica. Thank you for the super. Don't worry, Scarlet. Everything is fine. Just remember me. Only how I can only help you. Let's clean this up. Thank you, Monica. Thank you for the super. And Vane, just notice me and don't look behind you. Oh my God, Vane! I swear to God. Okay, I think I caught up with them. Okay, cool. Monica is real. Literature club is our heart. Doki, thank you, Kacho Fugetsu. Thank you for the super. You guys are going crazy with supers, bro. Let me see. In this house, we delete crazy bitches, period. Thank you, Dabam is here. Thank you for the super, baby. Mwah. This game is really a cut above the rest. Andreas, please. Andreas, please. Thank you for the super, baby. Mwah. Okay, so what do I do now? Wait, 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 wait. So, new game? Okay. An or again, an ordinary school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friends groups walking to school together. I love you. I love you too, Monica. Thank you for the super baby. Mwah. I always tell myself about the time I met some girls or something like that. <gasps> Sayori! Oh, Sayori, baby! Oh, I missed you! <clears throat> hey, Skylos! Well, there is already is one girl. The girl's name Sayori and my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day, and recently we picked up that habit once again. Skylos, are you proud of me? I'm so proud of you, baby. I'm so happy you're back, honey. Uh, for what? Uh, you know... For walking up on time. For waking up on time. We did it, y'all. Reset the clock. Yes, baby. Thank you, Envy Mizuhashi. Thank you for the super. Mwah. Um, well, we've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never even said anything about it. Even though we walk to school together every day. Uh, well, yeah. I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near the streets, become increasingly spectacled with other students making their daily commute. Oh, by the way, Skylos, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already. I'm really not. I started to I started to say what I always do. Wait, did I did I read the wrong line? Mm. What's wrong with this all shaker? Hmm? That I'm not interested in joining any club, but something tells me Sayori would take my take more offense than that. After all, how could I tell her that schools are a waste of time when starting a club of her own? Actually, yeah, I think I've decided on a club. <gasps> really? Which one? Tell me. Huh? I think I'll keep it a surprise. Oh, boo. You meanie. Don't reach out until the end. Okay, as of now, I will try not to look at chat. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Be patient. You'll find out soon enough. Wait, do we know what happened? Whew, why is my heart rate so high right now? Oh, my God. I used to ask myself why I let, why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. I started to realize that, in a way, I envy her. When Sayori put her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. So 
So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. The school day is ordinary as ever, but it's over before I know it. After I packed up my things, I stand up gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit being generally used for third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room... I find the room. Bleh. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ha! Skylos! <coughs> what are you doing here? Oh, uh, well, I just... Uh, I glance around the room. Huh. Oh, it's Natsuki. So... So you're the Scarlet that Sayori's always talking about. Wait, we're at the beginning of the game now. Uh, th th thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Skylos. Um, we are the Literature Club. I I hope you enjoy your visit. Why is my heart rate so high right now? <laughs> Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's going to think we're all really strict or something. Ah, uh, sorry, Natsuki. The, the tall one whose name is apparently Yuri seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. Working? <clears throat> Skylos, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way! No way! Ha! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. So I cherish Sayori. She's so fucking cute. Hey. <laughs> well, if Sayori is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention, there's four of us now. That means we can become official recognized club. Huh. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. Uh-huh. What an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah! After all, Natsuki decided to... <laughs> hey, don't ruin the surprise! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? Hmm. Hmm, well, the girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki wraps a... I can't read. Where Natsuki wraps a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches to back to the table, tray in hand. <clears throat> okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Hello! Natsuki lifts the foil of the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated and looks like little cats. We're at, like, the beginning. It's just... Why does Natsuki sound like... <laughs> oh my god. So we're basically at the beginning of the game. Just no Monica. The whiskers are drawn with icing and pieces of white chocolate are used to make the ears. Huh? So cute! Wow, these look amazing. <laughs> well, you know. Just, just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first and then I follow. Ah, oh, it's delicious! Uh, Sayori walks with her mouth full and already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around with my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki's quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaky glancing in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Uh, thank you, Natsuki. <laughs> uh, well, uh, of course it is. Uh, I'm a pro after all. Uh, there's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup and tea. Le, 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 I can't read. She places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea. Wait, that's me. You keep a whole tea set in the club room? Don't worry. The teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, uh, I guess. <laughs> Already trying to impress our new member, Yuri. <laughs> no, no, that's not it. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, um, y you know. 
I I believe. I believe you. That was me. It was me. Uh, well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy the tea. Oh, I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to reveal and to... Why can't I read? Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Skylos, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read in these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Uh, manga. I muttered quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants us to say something, but keeps for keep but keeps quiet. Hmm. Not much of a reader, I guess. Oh. Not much of a reader, I guess. Oh well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sm sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, you see. Yuri traces the rim of the teacup with her fingers. My favorite are usually novels that build up deep and complex fantasy worlds. The levels of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me, and telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes lightened up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. I don't... I, I can't read. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read much. I'm certain we find something that we can have in common. Hey, Yuri. Uh, well, about, y you know, the first thing you said, manga. Yeah, that's right. N Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. D don't just say it! For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, uh, manga's literature too, you know. So if Scarlos wants to read some of my manga, then don't try and stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. <clears throat> he can take this opportunity to try and find... Why, why can't I read? He can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Skylos? Ha! Huh, maybe. <clears throat> Sensing tension, Sayori jumps in. Um... Oh. <laughs> oh! Mm, maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. And we're, we'll all get to know each other a little bit better, too. I mean, that's the kind of thing the Literature Club do, does do. Right? Um, uh, I don't disagree or anything. Uh, yeah. You're right as usual, President. Oh, Sayori is the president! <gasps> oh, baby! Um. Oh, yes, I guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then as for you, Yuri. Uh, I have to read manga? <laughs> Jeez. You were, you were the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. Uh, I'm sorry for disrespecting your interest, Natsuki. Uh, if you're into it, then, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Uh, are you sure? Are you, are you just saying that? Uh, no. I've realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel... Then I'll offer my gratitude in finding a manga to read as well. Really? Uh, uh, I mean, it, it makes sense that you'd do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something you'd really like, okay? Uh, same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. Uh, uh, j just you? Uh, uh. Why are they being hella cute? Uh, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so... Y yeah, th me too. Ah, oh, this is so cute! Huh. Sayori, shut up! <laughs> Skylos, how rude! 
Leave the baby alone. I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes. I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Uh, yeah. Looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Huh, isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Skylos. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along better with you around Sayori. Huh, Skylos. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Uh, w well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. <laughs> we're gonna make it the best club ever. Now that you joined, every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, Skylos. I really want to thank you. I mean... I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. What? <gasps> That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Skylos. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know all about the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. <laughs> it's just us now. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this. With you. Mm. Is this just Sayori? Is this just Sayori? Forever? And ever. F O I E V E R. No. What the fuck? What's happening? I won't let you hurt him? What? Who? It hurts? <gasps> I'm sorry I was wrong? There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. What the fuck? Goodbye, Scarlos? Goodbye, Literature Club? <gasps> I love you. Hi, Monica. Thank you for the sofa. Uh, uh, can you hear me? <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Um, so you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff, and not really any. Whose voice is this? Oh, that's Monica's voice? I didn't even know any of them had voices. You were spoiled in the voice? Where? Because I never heard this voice before. Scarlet somehow got the voice correctly. The game unironically changed me when I first played. Bruh, I feel that. Wait, but that voice doesn't sound like me at all. Oh, so we, we did it. Cool. Let me see. <sighs> 
My final gift for you, Scarlet. We are in the literature club. Well, we in the literature... I can't read. We in the literature club will always love you. Please forget us. For this is better. Goodbye. Okay, Monica. Hey, that was a fun ride. Thank you, Monica. Thank you for the super baby. Mwah. Hey, Scarlet. It says gullible on the ceiling. What? Oh, I didn't notice that. Thank you, ghost for ghost foot. Thank you for the Zupa. Mwah. She really was practicing the piano. Dang, man. <gasps> oh, she was because of the song. Aw. Thank you, Deep Fried Fred. Thank you for the Zupa. Mm. Your voice acting you did for it was pretty accurate. But this, but this voice doesn't sound like me at all. I'm confused. Look at the top left. She's deleting things. Oh, they're still removing the images. Her speaking voice? How can I hear it? Because I've never heard... I didn't even know they had voices until you guys mentioned it. Monica this, Ayori that, Natsuki here, Yuri there. The best girl tonight was Kuli Skyler. That's right! Thank you, Devam is here. Thank you for the Zupa. Mwah. Where can I hear, like, the voices? Only Monica is voiced? Okay. Where can I hear it, though? Just Scarlet. Just Scarlet. Just Scarlet. Thank you, Katsofugetsu. Thank you for the super baby. Mwah. This game was actually my first visual novel. I'm glad that this is definitely an experience for you. It was, Gorgon Ramsey. Thank you. Thank you for the super baby. Mwah. Um... She just had that one bit of voice stuff. How how did I have the same... How did I match that? That didn't sound like me at all in my brain. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand the Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds all... Monica, what are you doing? Monica! Let me finish reading your letter. Uh, to the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality, a reality that our world is not designed to comprehend and can't let any of my friends undergo the same hellish empathy for the time it is lost. I thank you for making all my dreams come true, for being a friend to all the club members, and most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. Everlasting love, Monica. Some Something Scarlet for Scarlet. Yes, I found your YouTube channel earlier when I was poking around, but I didn't want to say anything. That would scare you. But I guess that doesn't matter now. Or I should... <clears throat> something Scarlet for my Scarlet. Aww. Yes, I found your YouTube channel earlier when I was poking around. But I didn't want to say anything. That would scare you. But I guess that doesn't matter now. Haha. <laughs> this is, will be the last time. So all I will say is thank you for playing. Aw, Monica, that's so sweet. Monica, thank you so much for the Aka Supa. Holy shit, babe. Oh my god, that's so my god. Oh my god, my heart. Oh my god. Monica, I really appreciate it. Thank you for this crazy roller coaster of a game. This was wild. My brain can't hand... Hello? Thank you, Monica, again. Thank you so much for the Akasupa. I really appreciate it, baby. Thank you, Monica. Thank you for the game, baby. Mwah! Here's another girl than ending for Sayori. It doesn't become Monica, but it requires game save scumming so you get all the CG of each character. Hey, thank you, Kyosha. Thank you for the Supa. Mwah! I'm confused. What just happened? Thank you so much for playing. This was so fun. Love you, Scarlet. Thank you. Thank you, Meronia. Thank you for the Supa. Wait, the game legit got deleted? Hi, three twenty pilot. Thank you for the super. Mwah. Wait, legit, the game got deleted. Like actually. Hold on. Huh. Oh shit! What I do? Okay, never mind. We're good. What the fuck? That's so fucking weird. Okay, look it. I exited the game. Okay. And then I click it. 
And then it goes back to that letter. How does that happen? What? Yo, that's so weird. Yo, I wonder what kind of technology to like do that. That's kind of crazy. How does a game do that? This game is some cool designs, bruh. Monica just left you a letter. That's it. You don't need to reinstall. That's a file name of first run. And you can delete it. Oh, okay. Programming skills. That's some mad coding, bruh. That, that's crazy. Oh, you see, if I show you the game files, it's only Natsuki, Sayori, and Yuri in there. That's crazy. Okay. Okay, what do I do? Hope they make a new part of this game. It, yo, they should. Come on. How so? What do I do? What does this read me? Okay, this is just text. Okay. Delete first run? Uh. Desk cray cray. Also, that's toast intended. Thank you, Krim. Thank you for the soup. Um game oh first run okay delete that's so crazy yo does i see i i, I don't it probably might be weird but i actually really like games that are like this like i don't like scary gory i like creepy what hold on Yeah, what the? Huh? Mm. Hmm. You should try one shot. Okay, let me write that down really quick. Because I like games that are kind of creepy. Well, not creepy. Like this, you know? Like, they're more, like, unhinged, I guess. I don't know how to describe it. Also... I really, I really like games that kind of let make you feel like you're not like actually hacked, but I like games that like this, how it makes you like fourth wall breaky, makes you feel like they're taking control of your computer. If anyone knows any of that, any games that are like this one, let me know. Continue. I'll definitely get out, get one shot. No, I haven't played Undertale. Hey! What did I do wrong? I I deleted the first run. You should press yes, but the other one said continue. Let me see. If Um good night. That was a wild ride. Hope you all sleep well too. Thank you, Metal Nia. Thank you for the Zulpa baby. Mwah. There's the secret ending of the game. How do I get it? Hi, honey V's. Thank you so much for the super. Mwah. You have to delete the data. Oh, but I don't want to delete the data. Let me see. Game. Yeah, first run is still here. Okay, I'll delete it. You finish the game so there's no more content if you press continue. Oh, that's oh, okay. I dumb dumb. I understand. You say before the festival and do everyone's route? Uh. I mean... Hmm... 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 Try Pony Island then if you like this meta stuff. Oh, okay, let me write that one. Thank you, Warren Choi. Thank you for the super. Okay... One shot, and then Pony Island. Hmm. There are two other endings, but one of them's fast. Not necessarily heavy coaches, but heavy dark. The corners of the earth. Oh, I think I've heard of that one. Delete Monica and start a new game. What does that do? I don't think getting the good ending would be a fun stream TV. It's going over the same stuff. Ah, boo. Can't even begin to describe the tears that just came from watching the ending all over again. I'm sorry, Sparkles. I'm sorry, BB. Easter egg if you delete Sayori. 
Hmm. Interesting. Huh. Hmm. What kind of Easter egg? Yes, delete Monica and start game. Okay, well, I'm going to zip through things. Yeah, I'm going to skip dialogue because I ain't got patience for that shit. Also, you guys were telling me about hacking. I, I don't think anything happened to me. Hmm. Characters. And let's delete Monica. Monica's deleted. Will be a qu delete Monica will be a quick one. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, like everyone was telling me to be careful about leaking my name or something. Or, yeah, I don't think that happened. I don't. I didn't see anything that would have done it. So I don't know. How do I fix this? Hmm. Oh, it happens when OBS isn't on? What does it do? I'm curious, what does it do then? I deleted Monica, the hell? Huh. The game does check your Steam profile and Monica will call you by your Steam name when you... Oh. Oh. Hmm. Well, my account name is Scarla, so I guess it doesn't matter either way. Okay. I'll just do Scarla. Scarla. Okay. Oh, it's your PC name. Oh. So I'm gonna skip. Is it not like Otome games? This is not- this is not like- <gasps> You guys, my game just crashed! Oh! Bro, my game just crashed. What the fuck? Oh, that's the content? I thought it was gonna repeat the same thing. Whoopsie! Wait. Hold on. Sorry, I'm just trying for super have funny Scarlet. Thank you, Teasy. Teasy. Thank you for the Zupa. Mwah. Wait, what the fuck just happened? Why does it say the end? Trigger warning, trigger warning, trigger warning. Oh my god. Oh my god. What, what just happened? No. I deleted Monica. That's the Easter egg. Okay. See, that was my bad. Because I thought the game was redoing it. Like, I thought it was redoing the first part. And I didn't want... Don't show it again. Hold on. Okay, I'm covering it. Hmm... After, de by deleting the game, Monica, Sayori immediately knows what's up. Hmm, you didn't read Sayori free? No, because I thought they were just going to repeat the same thing. You know, because I, I thought we were at the beginning, so I just skipped, and then all of a sudden, end and we died. By deleting Monica, you made Sayori aware. Thus, she speed runs to the bed and depresso. Oh my god. When Monica's in the game, oh, okay. So watch, do it again. I am, but it's not letting me do anything. It's stuck on this image that I don't want to have on the screen. You can wait 10 minutes and you'll get an interesting dialogue. Oh, okay, I guess we'll wait 10 minutes. Gotta restore the game, no. Later. <sighs> it's already 3 a.m. How the hell did this happen? Well, that was crazy. <sighs> Delete first, run again later? Probably. It's stretch time. Well, that was crazy. You got immersed? My immersion. <sighs> Are you still scared? Not really. See, it feels like my heart's pounding really fast, but it's only at 80. But, like, my heart feels like it's going very fast. How's your experience? Crazy. Subos are free. No, the fuck they not. 
Oh, the poll's still up? Oh, shit. Okay, let me just delete. Delete. Thanks! So did you know Monica has an interesting dialogue that details Sayori's fate? What does it say? Or can I find it? The supas are very much not free. And then Monica come to visit? Yes, and she dropped an Akka. Gosh darn, Monica, you be ballin'. There is some also there is also a bunch of secret files that appear in the game directory that you can check out over the course of the game. It's pretty well. That's crazy. They must got some smart ass coders or something in this shit. You could you should check out Matt Pat's video about the game. There's a lot of crazier. I'm gonna do that then. Thank you, Angstiety. I'm definitely gonna do that. I'm definitely gonna check that out. Free supas, don't mind if I do. Sir Foop, aka Jora Joestar. They are not free, baby. Thank you so much for the soup. Mwah. It's actually just a single guy. Really? This is so crazy because, I don't know, call me ignorant or something, but I've never seen or played a game that's done that and kind of fucks with you and that makes you have to go in the files to do stuff to get different things. Like, I've never heard of that. I've never played a game like that. Unless someone knows the game that's very similar. That would be cruel, but that's crazy. That's really cool. It's really, it's really not complicated, just not something games usually do. Well, more games should do that. Dan Salvato is crazy creative. You can tell. Has he done other games? Dan Salvato has worked on a ton of Project M like for Smash Bros. Oh, shit. Huh. Coded music by one guy. Arnaz is by... So it's literally just two dudes. Or like... Oh, wait. Other, other people. Oh, I see. Free Super Pog Sky 627. They are not free. Thank you for the Super. Mwah. If you like games that break the fourth wall, you probably will enjoy the Shanley Parable. I've heard of that one. I'm pretty sure you guys have suggested it to me before. Let me see that one. The Stanley Parable. The Stanley... This one. Like being creepy psychological chaos. Con chaos Head is coming out pretty soon. Let me see. Chaos Head? Let me see that one. Mm. Deleting Monica ends up Sayori becoming the president, which she becomes overwhelmed with voices in her head and results in unfortunate circumstances. Dear God. Thank you, honeybees. It's still on the screen. Jesus Christ. Chaos Head. Oh. 2008 and it's barely coming in English soon. Jeez, damn. The Stanley Problem is a game where the narrator tells you what to do, but you can go off on the path and he tells you and there's a lot of content. Oh. I like games like this like I don't know. I like games that kind of fuck with you mentally just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I don't like horror. I don't like horror shit. I don't like demon shit cuz that stuff scares the freak out of me. But for some reason, when they kind of mess with your head a little bit and make you be like, what the fuck's going on in this game? That's the one I like. Past my bedtime, but thank you for the stream. No prop star creator. Thank you for coming, baby. And thank you for the sofa. Mwah! There's no game. Is an there is no game is another one. Let me see. Is that one? I've heard of that one before, I think. Let me see. There is no game. Okay. Okay. Hmm, so many games to choose from. <laughs> Let me see. Undertale is a must play. I have Delta Run on my Switch, but I haven't played it yet. Explains why you and M listen, Louie. You listen here. Is this gonna be here forever? Oh my god, I don't want to see Sayori just like this forever. Huh, we should get her to play Dead Space. But I want to play games that fuck you up mentally by breaking the fourth wall. Ducky, ducky. Ducky, ducky. Undertale is great. I think you'd vibe with it. Yeah, 10 minutes is a long time. I'm so... It's like, do they honestly think... I wonder how do they get that information out there? Well, I wonder how do people figure it out? Like, who would just sit here and wait 
10 minutes you know what i mean so in my head i'm like how did they even discover this easter egg is the screen stuck yeah supposedly it takes about 10 minutes people decompile oh the code you extract from the script oh i see mm. um let me see Messed up detail. If you look at Sayoti's hands, you notice blood like she's struggling to save herself in the event. Oh my god. Near Ultimata will blow your mind. So many walls and booty. Thank you, Kaizaki Arata. Thank you for the super, honey. Mwah. Buddy Simulator is another good creepy game. Let me check that one. Thank you, froggy friend. Thank you for the super. Mwah. Let me see. Buddy Simulator. Let me see. Let me see. Bun buddy buddy simulator okay screenshot <sighs> one person just make an instant ramen then he saw another around the 10 minutes jk i don't know <laughs> that'd be funny though lots of people there's even ciphers hidden in the game files that give you some weird backstory i'm too scared oh too scared I'm scared is pretty old fourth wall game that made you do stuff with the files. Oh, I'm scared. Let me see that one. And quite, f for, and we'll get quite freaky. Sorry, repeating myself if I did. Oh, no, don't worry. I, I, I'm sorry if I didn't see the other comments. Thank you, Glace Tomic. Thank you for the super. Oh, look at that one. I'm scared. Okay. I'm scared game. Oh, that one looks very creepy. Perfect! Thanks! Thank you, Glaze Tomic. Free super donation is not free. Hope you enjoyed the Doki Doki Literature Club. You should check out Omori. It is a game that will have you question things. Be a good series. I've actually, I've been requested a lot to play Omori, so I definitely probably in the future. Definitely. Thank you, Vicence. Thank you so much for the super, honey. Mwah. Thank you, baby. Mwah. There is no game breaks the fourth wall. I got that one. Screenshot. Did 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 did. Off topic, but who is the best boy for you and obey me? Lucifer. That is my man. Thank you, froggy friend. Thank you for the super. Mwah. All of Niji Sanji tried Stanley Parable at this point. Not me. I haven't. I haven't. Yeah, play one shot. I suggest playing Pika Pot because that will mess you again. I, I, I would prefer not to live those horrendous times. Thank you. Also, if you if you have a if you have your switch, Tamashi is an interesting in terms of theme. Oh, oh my! Your man is Mammon. Yo, Mammon's a good boy. But I, you know, I like them a little. I don't know. I don't. Is this just talking stream now? No, we're waiting ten minutes. Cause supposedly, if you wait ten minutes, there's a dialogue. So we're gonna wait. Okay, but what happens like if I delete Yuri? Or what happens if I delete Monik or um um Natsuki? Does anything happen when I do that? Mr. Tomato is also kind of funny. You want the medium? What's the medium? Why is my heart up? It's only Monica's the special one. Oh, there's no other Easter eggs. Boo! I think ten minutes passed already. I don't think so because the screen is the same. Hmm. <gasps> oh. It says now everyone can be happy. Oh, I don't want to show it again. Mm, it just says next to her. Now everyone can be happy. Sayori, please. I thought you guys said dialogue. Not just a... This isn't dialogue. This is a sentence. If you delete Sayori, it goes straight to the end without starting the game. What ending exactly? That's sad. I think that's it. Is that it? Just the now everyone can be happy? Is that it? There was dialogue, but you skipped it. No, before. People said if I waited 10 minutes after the end, I'd get another dialogue. Blinning Sayori just does the same thing. Oh, I see. DDLC has more secrets and side stories have sweet backstories. Oh, that's it. That's boring. Mm. Okay, boring. Well, that was fun. That was horrendous. Oh my god. You skipped the dialogue before? I know, but I was talking about the ending one because everyone, because people said, wait, 10 minutes, and then there will be more dialogue. But that wasn't the dialogue, that was a sentence. 
Monica has a Twitter you can talk to. <gasps> Should we try to talk to Monica on Twitter? Hold up. Hold on. Should we try to talk to Monica on Twitter? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hmm. Oh, shiz. Okay. Let's find it. Yeah. I wonder how much does it... Hold on. She has a Twitter, so do it. Good luck. She's hardly active. But they said she'd respond. I would hope she'd respond. Oh, good night, Sarah. Thank you for coming, baby. Well, it's 3 a.m. time for Monica. I'm going to take off this heart monitor because it's way too tight on me. See, it's crazy because I don't even know where the other heart monitor is now. I broke that one and legit, I can't even find it at this point. When you're alone with Monica at the end of the game, Monica has several hundreds of dialogue to read if you don't delete her character file. See, a part of me would like to know how long it would take for me to just sit there and read it. Recommendations, Omori. Oh, I love your turn to die. <gasps> I never, wait, I never finished it. <gasps> Danganronpa and Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. Thank you, coffee. Thank you for the soup up. Mwah. Bro. I played a little bit of Doki Doki, not Doki Doki, um, Your Turn to Die. Hold on, let me see. <sighs> Sorry. Mm. No, but yeah, I've played a little bit of Your Turn to Die. I didn't get past the, like, the part where you meet all the characters. I didn't play past that part, but I really liked it. It was really interesting. Now I kind of want to play it again. I'm going to see. I want to know if I can play it. That'd be fun. Mm. You're the only one I know that actually waited the 10 minutes because chat told me. Because chat told me. Your turn. Your turn. Two. Hmm. Let me see. Your turn to die. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Hmm, another game that messes is called A Dark Place. Let me see. A Dark Place. Ooh, there's a fan-made mod called Monica After Story and adds even more dialogue and tons of neat stuff if you really love Monica. I don't know how I feel about Monica TBH. Thank you, Sky6327. Thank you for the super, baby. Mwah. How about Stanley Parabola? I got it. I got it, baby. Gotta tap out now. It's been fun. It's been real. So I think it's real fun. It was real fun. <sighs> oh, it's okay, someone unknown. Don't worry. Yeah, I want to finish your turn to die. It was really interesting when I was playing it. I'd love to play it again. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. It's more of the execution that's good more than the code. Oh, I see. Monica does have a Twitter. Okay, I'm gonna at least see the Twitter. I want to at least see it. You know why is my why am I lagging? Hello, Monica. Please don't destroy my freaking Wi-Fi. Okay. Okay. Mm, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> Monica, time for me to sleep. Good night, chat and Scarlet. I might hit the hay too. I have school early in the morn wait what's her is it just monica what's the twitter just is it just monica is it the just monica bot huh oh it's at lil lil money is that is it official or let me see hmm you don't have school later? I do. I have school. Ooh, I have to leave in like five hours. Yeah, she says it in game. Oh, really? Oh, shit. Okay, let me go find it. Okay. Oh! Oh! Okay. So what should I at Monica? Okay. Go to bed? Hello? I will after this. See, I kind of feel meh that my streams have been a lot shorter lately. But my but I get very, very tired lately. Hmm. 
Ask her to tuck you into bed monetization check. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's right. Four hours is short for me, yes. You, I prefer to stream minimum five, six hours. Mm -hmm. Make a twit longer rant for what? Let me see. Okay, we're monetized, cool. You started late, you did the stream two back to back. True. So technically I started at 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, well, it says 426 here, so then one hour, so 526. I don't know. I just prefer to stream for a minimum five, six hours. Um, it's no problem. It's fine. It's always the hell that comes first. If you're tired, go to sleep. We don't mind. Okay, strawberry. Mm. Okay, guys. See, she's kind of active. She just posted eight hours ago for Halloween. Okay. Okay. I don't know what to at her. Hmm. Yeah, the account posted something for Halloween. Hmm. Let me see. Hmm. 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 I don't know. Ask for a collab. Oh my god. You did an hour member stream in four hours, so it's good. Apologize for deleting her. Oh, okay, perfect. Okay. Hi, Monica. Sorry for deleting your game file. Sorry for deleting your game file. <laughs> okay. Now let's see if they respond. Wrong account. Wait. You guys. It's the... Oh my god, let me delete it then. You guys. So, I love how so many of you guys spammed that one and now it's wrong? I don't know how many people commented it. Okay. Okay, so then I copy pasted the wrong one then. Okay. Oh, it's this one. Okay. Yeah, see, that one hasn't been active since February. Holy shit, half a million followers? I love how Nagao Senpai is following Monica. <laughs> Kurt, you're following Monica on Twitter? Kurt, if you're still here... Yeah, blame us. Why don't you? Because some of y'all commented that one. And that's the one because I copy-pasted it from the chat. So, yeah, I'm gonna blame whoever put that one in the chat. Thank you. Oh, my God. Are you about to end stream? Not right now. Kurt, I can't believe you followed them. One guy still. That one guy is chat. Everyone is following Monica, even other YouTubers. I can't believe Nagao Sentai is following Monica on Twitter. Okay. Okay. So... They're only following three people? Who are they? Oh, Dan Salvato. I'm surprised they haven't made another game. They should. Chad just wanted to be bullied. Wouldn't even be surprised. Wouldn't even be surprised. Wait, is that Monica's artist? Or like, Doki Doki? That would be so cool to get art by the Doki Doki Literature Club artists. <gasps> Wait. Is this the artist? <gasps> Wait. Can I get art? <gasps> Wait. Is that the real artist? Can I get art from the official Doki Doki Literature Club artist? Wait, like I'd pay so much money. Wait. <gasps> Wait! Yo, I would drop... Oh! Oh, I see these. I've seen these art before. They are... Oh my god, I'm gonna spend so much money. Is your voice okay? It's a little cracked, but like, it's okay. Bro, I'm gonna drop so much money. I'm gonna drop so much money. Please draw me in Doki Doki. Please. Ooh, let me see. Oh, they have really nice art. 
She deleted the tweet what happened because it was the wrong account. But I'm gonna do it again, but she might not respond. Might not re My Twitter just glitched. That scared the hell out of me. Okay. Okay, let me see. Now I'm gonna add the actual one. Okay. Monica. It's a sign. Monica, please leave it alone. Let's see. Hi, Monica. Sorry for deleting your character file. I, I did it. Now to see if they ever respond, which they have not posted since May this year. Who knows? Who knows? I'll give a follow. Okay. Finally, the re will the real Monica please stand up? Well, they can because they're on Twitter. Okay. Now to hope that they respond. That'd be cool. I hope so. <laughs> please don't get your PC hacked. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus, it doesn't hurt to try. I think you should post it in both channels. Huh? Post what in channels? Oh god, Monica has entered your Twitter account and saw your deleted tweets of anime men. Oh god, I would want to die in Sims 4. Thank you, honeybees. Thank you for the soup. Monica, if you are here, please give us a sign. Monica? Both Twitter ones? There's only one. The one, the other one, the person who gave me wasn't the real one. Um, Monica? If you're here, give us a sign. Mm. Monica? Wait, Phasmo? We, we're waiting for a sign. There is no... I understand. I saw it. I see everything. Oh, Monica. Thank you so much for the super baby. Monica always sees everything. Monica sees all. 